Welcome back, Pokemon Trainers. Professor Chaz here. The lab coat's on back order. The stream is, I think, live. Merry Christmas Eve to all of you folks out there celebrating the Christmas holiday this season. Wait, wait, wait. Got an ad on my video. Skipping that. Don't like to get the excess ad revenue from my own, I guess, viewings. I don't know if that really counts or not, but anyways, we're here for some Pokemon Wonder trading here in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. I'm going to give some time for people to show up, but basically the idea is... Hello, Hollow. Welcome to our stream. The idea here is I've got a bunch of Pokemon that are left over from the recent Wi-Fi battles that we've been doing and the, uh, what was it, yesterday, the reverse GTS thing going on. And we have a bunch of those to send out in Wonder Trade for the remainders. Now, since I do have close to a full box left of each species, the uh, down on the layout below, it shows all the evolved forms. Hello, Katie Sue. How's it going? You just woke up and saw I was live streaming. Well, first of all, good morning. It's probably uh, evening time. Or no, afternoon where you're at. I think you're further east, I believe. But Merry Christmas to you as well, and Happy Holidays all around. So... The evolved forms, of course, are on the layout down there, but I've got a bunch of Chimchar, Gligar with Razor Fangs. I've got Skarmory, Scyther all holding metal, metal Coat. We've got Chansey and Haunter, half boxes full of each to do some uh, wonder trading out for you folks out there. A little bit of a pre-Christmas, Christmas Eve giveaway kind of thing. So if you didn't get a chance to get any of these Pokemon during the battles, or if you didn't participate in the reverse GTS feature that we did yesterday, I figure now might be a chance for you to get them. So the way we're going to do it is, once I'm going to pop onto the internet, I'm going to go into the Wonder Trade section. I'm going to Wonder Trade a half box of each of these species tonight. I'm going to go box by box. So we're going to Wonder Trade all the Chimchar out. And once we're done with that, we're going to move on to the Gligar and so on and so forth. When I start Wonder Trading out a species that you might be wanting to get, that's the time when you want to start Wonder Trading stuff out as well. And you might be able to sync up with me and get one of those Pokemon through the Wonder Trade. So we're only going to go about the half box for each one. I'm going to do a second live stream of Wonder Trading sometime after Christmas, maybe a couple days afterwards, to give out the rest of the Pokemon. But I didn't want to overwhelm too much. I figure it's Christmas time. You know, I don't want you guys stuck here to the stream the entire time. And I'm sure you have things to do for Christmas and all that. And we don't want to be here all night. But... We will give some out tonight, and of course some after Christmas, a little bit of a late Christmas present. Unknown Spike asking, who has won the giveaway? I have determined who has won. I'm going to probably announce that through comments. Or I'll announce it again in the next Pokemon White episode I do. I'll probably record one tonight to upload tomorrow. But as soon as we're done the stream here tonight, I'm going to put in uh, comment responses and let people know who has won the giveaway. And that'll be coming very soon. How long will I be live for, Hollow? Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe it takes about 15, 20 minutes to sort of give out each box. So I'll be like probably a couple hours for the night for sure. So you should have plenty of time to get involved with some of this wonder trading. And Mr. Sharkbite6415 has again nuked the like button. Thank you very much for your continued contribution to the channel through radioactive fallout. Much appreciated. As always, good sir. All right, so this is going to be our first box here. I'm going to give you a rundown of what Pokemon we have anyway. So the first box is going to be Chimchar. They're all adamant nature. They have the Iron Fist hidden ability. I've bred them up with Power Punch. Sorry, Power Punch. Power Up Punch, Fake Out, Thunder Punch, and Fire Punch. Hollow has just got the DS. Awesome stuff, so you can get involved in this. And most of them have... I think... No, sorry. All of them have max attack, max speed, I'm pretty sure. A lot of them have other stats that are best or very good for the most part. Special attack might not be that good. But you don't want special attack on this kind of Pokemon anyway. You're going to focus on using your physical moves. What time is it where I live right now, says Unknown Spike? It's currently 6.04 p.m. Just past 6 o'clock, little moments ago. So the next box we're going to have is a box of... I keep saying box, half box. A half box of Gligar right now. Oh, Hollow's a girl. Okay, sorry. Didn't mean to assume. It's 2018, almost 2019. I shouldn't assume gender. But anyway. All right, you got yourself your DS, though. You'll be good to go. I know Spike has shielded the nuke, as always. Got that shield ready to go. So this Gligar here, or these Gligar, they are jolly natured with the immunity hidden ability, which does become poison heal through evolution. I did get Razor Fangs for each one of them, so we'll just level it up at night, holding that Razor Fang. Boom! You have a poison heal Gliscor waiting to go. Oh, in your game, you're female. Okay, I get you, I get you. So the moves I bred are Agility, Counter, Baton Pass, and Cross Poison. And most of them... That was not that good. 
I don't always have the best breeding capabilities, I guess. I'm doing better for future giveaways, though. I think this is when I'm still starting to learn how to do the breeding properly. But, anyway, a lot of them have really good speed and defenses. Like, say, best defense right on that one there. Alright, so moving on over to the flying box here, representing the first gym in Johto. We have Skarmory with Impish Nature. The ability is Sturdy. I think they all have Sturdy. Pretty sure I bred for that. And the moves are Pursuit, Whirlwind, Stealth Rock, and Brave Bird. And they've been bred for mostly defenses. HP and the defense is boosted up. Speed, I try to get speed for some of them. Not really that important because the move set is going to be more like... But what we've seen about Skarmory, generally they're more of setting up hazards like Stealth Rock or uh, Spikes, which they learn naturally. And then Whirlwinding things out. So Whirlwind is a negative priority move, therefore speed is not really going to matter. Next up, we have a box of Scyther, all holding metal coats, which means they will all become Scizor through trading. We have the Impish Nature with the ability Technician. And we got Quick Guard, Baton Pass, Counter, and Reversal for egg moves. And they're all pretty good. I think I guaranteed the defenses and attack, from what I recall. Looks like the HP is not the biggest thing that we're going for either there, but that one's pretty good. All max. Max stats. Not bad. That's actually good for breeding if you can get this one. Am I in the States? Um, no, I'm actually in Canada on the East Coast. Very close to the States, though. Basically, is it like an hour and a half or so to get into Maine, which is the first step into the States from where I live at. So next up, we have our Chansey in the box here. Bold Nature with Natural Curability. I've bred on Heal Bell, Counter, Helping Hand, and Seismic Toss. And for the stats... Again, speed and attack, you're not focused on that, but I guaranteed, I believe, HP and the two defenses are going to be all best. I'm pretty good right there. That one's a really good one right there, actually. Of course, do we have Seismic Toss? Yes, we do. That's one of the... Basically, that's your main offensive move on a Chansey, because they're not going to hit with special offense, physical offense, but Seismic Toss doing a fixed amount of damage based on level. The final box is going to be our Haunter right here, representing the Ghost-type gym of Ecruteak City in Johto. Uh, timid Nature with the ability Levitate, of course. We have Parish Song, Clear Smog, Haze, and Disable. Naturally through trading, Haunter becomes Gengar with generally pretty nice stats. Most of them have max defense stats, or at least very good. Attack you don't need to worry about, but there's quite a few decent ones in here. I have gotten better through breeding over time. Alright, so... That being said, we're going to go over to our first box of the day. It's going to be our Chimchar. We're going to start Wonder Trading. So if you're interested in a Chimchar, when you see me start trading out, you just start trading like crazy as well, and there might be a chance that we'll sync up as we send these out. What's kind of cool is we have some female starters as well, which are kind of rare to come by. A 1 in 8 chance, I believe, but you can pass on the hidden ability pretty easily. I think it's an 80% chance if the female has the hidden ability for the offspring to have it. If you have a male with a hidden ability, nowadays they can pass that on. Back in the day, only a female could pass it. But it's only, I think, a 60% chance. So we have Oliver 4BG from France as our first partner in the Wonder Trade. We're going to get that sent off and get our first Pokemon back. So once I complete a box, by the way, or half box, I'm going to check out all the Pokemon we got in... Or re I honestly always, re always want to say in response. It's not responding. All the Pokemon we get in return. I'm going to check them out, then we'll move to the next box and start wonder trading them out. So today being the big day for Christmas time, is everybody prepared for the day? I'm basically ready to roll for myself. We have, uh, there's a tree set up out there. I'm not getting too much for Christmas this year, and I couldn't afford to give too much, but it's going to be a pretty uh, low-key Christmas, I guess. But hopefully that means I'm going to have, uh, you know, i got to make up for it next year and have a bigger time bigger Christmas season for everybody. I'm hoping, eventually, that once I complete this course I'm taking for 3D animation, that might start to, you know, help out financially, because there was one year, a few years back, I had a really amazing Christmas. I had the money to do it, and I, like, quite often, I can't really afford to do much. We have Mr. B from Ohio, up next is our next trade partner, but this one Christmas I had probably two dozen gifts all wrapped up and I had them all sitting here in my room and I looked at it and I it, you know it feels good giving it's it's all about the giving you know for me it's not so much what am I gonna get for Christmas it's like what can I afford to give to people what what can I manage like this is what we're doing here basically wonder trading I want to give things out right here and it's 12.08 p.m. so oh it's already Christmas for unknown spike that's right cuz you are much earlier you're on the other you're on 
the Asian continent, I believe? Asia or Europe? That I can't remember. But I know you're somewhere around that area. <laughs> that area. That, yeah, that huge, massive continent. You're somewhere around there. From what I recall, because you've actually won some of the uh, mail-out prize things that we've done before. And I mailed that out to you. And Merry Christmas to everyone, says Hollow and Unknown Spike. Merry Christmas indeed to everyone celebrating. We have Black from France as our next trade partner. Let's see what we can get in return, not response. I said it right. And as we do this, or as we eventually come to a close, I'm thinking I want to do another Pokemon Conquest live stream because I've been itching to play that again. But I might wait. You know, I don't want to overload too much. It is... It's Christmas. You folks have other stuff to do. You don't want to sit here watching. Because, like, I could record, or I could do a live stream of Conquest, but it's like... I don't know. I want you guys to be here to watch, if possible. But I don't want to distract from any Christmas stuff you might have going on. So I think I'll have to take the hit myself and refrain myself from playing any Pokemon Conquest, as much as I'd love to do it. But... Yeah, I'll, I won't distract from Christmas. We'll let Christmas have its day. Professor Chaz's day will come afterwards. And what's up, everyone? Says Isaac Wolf the Fire Striker. Merry Christmas indeed. Don't know if I mentioned it yet, but you're now sporting that cool Charmeleon hat for your member badge, which is pretty nice. Once you get to your two-month uh, membership, you're going to evolve that to a Charizard hat, which will be pretty cool. And Alola to Dazzling Shell, or Aloha, actually. Welcome to our stream as we're doing Wonder Trading. Neon is our next trade partner for Kakarot, one of our many Chimchar. If you guys weren't here for the start, we're not giving all the Pokemon out tonight. I've just prepared half boxes for each of these Pokemon, but I'll be doing out, doing it. I'll be giving out a half box of each species tonight. We're going to save the other half a box for sometime after Christmas, maybe a few days after, and do another Wonder Trade live stream session. But I didn't want to have too much going on today. I want you guys to make sure you have your time for your Christmas holidays, Christmas festivities and stuff. Could be some, you know, Christmas parties, family gatherings you're going to tonight. I don't know. But that is important. That takes priority over me sitting here playing a Pokemon game. Uh, let's see. So, Unknown Spike, you always have time to watch my live streams. Glad to hear. I know you're here, you're here all the time. Much appreciated. Thank you for the continued support. And can Ultra Moon trade with Ultra Sun? Yeah, they should, like, if I'm, what I'm doing here, the Wonder Trade, anything should be able to pick this up. Sun, Moon, Ultra Sun, or Ultra Moon. Frosty from Poland is up next. And what I do is whenever I'm breeding Pokemon, I try to make sure nothing that is Ultra specific is given to them. There are certain attacks that can only be obtained in Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. Certain Pokemon, like the new Ultra Beast, they can only be Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. And I don't want to have those things Wonder Trade. Actually, I don't think I can Wonder Trade those anyway, because it would say that it can't be done. But yeah, so Ultra Moon should be able to receive any of these as we do the Wonder Trading. So if you want one of these Chimchar, just keep trading stuff out. If you get something back, like if you get something that you don't want, just re-Wonder Trade that, basically. And see if you can happen to link up with me as I'm doing this. Get yourself maybe one of these cool Iron Fist Chimchar. Now, just to break everyone's hearts... This stream and the next Wonder Trade stream will be the final time these particular Pokemon will be available from the channel. But, once we're done with this, we're going to start into another session of Wi-Fi Battles. Probably, I'm going to aim to do at least one per month. But, uh, we're going to have different prizes available. So, Jade from the United Kingdom is next up. And Tarantulas and Scorpions, again, Dazzling Shell. Do they not have anything else in that game? I know they do. They have those two beetles that, at least in the DS game, or the 3DS game, that they constantly fight on the, uh, the stump in the museum, and they knock each other down, or they knock one down, and the other one gets back up, whatever. That's kind of cool. I like to see that. I also like when you do have a tarantula and scorpion in the museum, they constantly fight each other. What's up, Mickey Layton? Not too much. We're just doing a little bit of wonder trading, a little Christmas Eve giveaway thing here. I have a half box remaining of each of the Pokemon that we've been doing for our recent Wi-Fi battles and the reverse GTS from yesterday. And I want to hand them out for a Christmas Eve bonus giveaway thing. Now, I'm not giving them all the way just yet. Not giving them... Wait. Not giving them all away. There we go. Just yet. I've got another about half a box of each one. We're going to save that for another stream sometime after Christmas. But if you want some of these Pokemon today to uh, start off your Christmas season... Start wonder trading if you see the species you want, and 
you might get one of these tonight. If you haven't gotten one from the Reverse GTS or the uh, Wi-Fi battles that we've been doing lately. So from Australia, we have... Was that Stark? Or Starkle? It's like a, a star that sparkles. A Starkle. So it was the Hercules Beetle and the Golden Stag. Awesome. Picky Peck was not in your Pokedex Hollow? You know, for the longest time, it wasn't in mine either. Because I didn't... like. I've said this before. I don't want to criticize Game Freak. I know they have reasons for what they do. But I find there's often too many birds. Like, back in Gen 1... How many birds did we have? There were, off the top of my head, I can think of four. Pidgey, Spearow, and their evolution, of course. But Pidgey, Spearow, uh, what was the other one? Farfetch'd, and, well, Doduo for sure. Another normal flying type. But, like, they always give us a new bird Pokemon. And we've had bird Pokemon. I like seeing different things. Now, what I liked with Gen 3 is they did bring in a new bird, Wingull, but it was actually... A water and flying type not a normal flying type so that was kind of cool it was a new bird but it had a different typing Merry Christmas Eve to you as well Xander and I'm glad you're here because you were part of our reverse GTS yesterday and I realized afterwards I completely forgot to choose a winner for those two shiny Pokemon that we had available so as it turns out your Pokemon that you submitted Xander was one of the winners for the shiny Pokemon so I'm gonna see if I can send you a message I want to be able to uh, link up with you and send you one of those shiny Pokemon. I'm going to go to your channel. And can I send a message through here? We got a Magnemite for that Chimchar there, I see. So I can't send you a message just yet, but I'm going to see what I can do here. So I want to be able to get that shiny Pokemon to you. So another Chimchar being traded out. Wait, wait. I got a Pattaya Berry. That's not one that I bred. What is that doing in the box? That's weird. Okay, we'll trade this one. I must have gotten one back in exchange for one of my other Chimchar and didn't even notice it. Okay, then. Well, let me see. Uh, What I'm going to do... I'm going to copy this link. I'm going to put in the chat... And this is for Xander only, but of course anyone else can grab this if they want to. What I'm going to put in the chat is a link to uh, accept a friend request from me to whoever clicks it. And I can send direct messages to you folks on YouTube by using this link. So I think that's clickable. If not, just select it all, copy, paste into a, a web browser, and then you can go there. So for Xander, if you want to confirm that link, and we can link up as friends, I'll send you a message. We can start linking up for giving you a shiny Pokemon for our giveaway yesterday. We got Kangaskhan, look at that. Oh, you gave me the Chimchar, was it? Okay. I, I, so I was like, did someone give it to me during the stream? I can't remember. But, anyways, thank you. I had a Pattaya Berry, very cool. Uh, Mickey's asking, what am I hoping for a Pokemon, or for a Pokemon, a new gen or a gen 4 remake? Honestly, what I really want is a new generation. A Gen 4 remake, I mean, I don't mind the remakes. They're cool. They add new things to the game, for sure. But I'm the kind of person that likes to see new things rolling forward. Now, granted, I really like to make a Ruby Alpha Sapphire, basically because they put new Megas in the game, and they also took the original story and amped it up a little bit. But I would like to see a whole new generation of Pokemon, which would be pretty cool. And I think that's what they're gearing up for for next year on the Switch, which means I gotta get a Switch next year. I gotta find a way to make that happen. Uh, Dazzling Shell saying, Two Cannon with Skill Link and Fury Attack or Bullet Seed is great. You say Newsflash. To, to some people, that is a Newsflash. To me, it ain't, because I know the power of a Skill Link Two Cannon, indeed. That has some potential to it. Now, what else can they get that is multi hit? Hey, Picky Pack! Speaking of such. Because I know, you know, Bullet Seed, I've fought many Wild Picky Peck, and they just hit me five times every time with Bullet Seed, and it's just like, stop it! Just wasting my time, especially if I'm using something that's resistant to grass. It's just doing two, two, uh, two damage per hit, and it's like, you're just wasting my time, Picky Peck. Not Picky Peck, Two Cannon. Or, I, th I don't think I've fought Wild Two Cannon. I don't think there are Wild Two Cannon. Trumbeak, however, I've been hit by Bullet Seeds from them. Alright, so we got one more Kakarot, excuse me, sending out right now. 
So how has everybody's Christmas Eve been doing so far? If it's still Christmas Eve where you are at. Of course, Unknown Spike and maybe some others are currently into the day itself of Christmas. But my Christmas Eve, here's how it's gone. I wanted to do what I could as a type of Santa Claus thing. My goal was to go out, get as many gifts in Pokemon Go as I could to send them out to everybody on my friends list. Those are my intentions to start the day. Pokemon Go decided, hey, you know what, Professor? We're going to make you get only one gift out of every four or five Pokestops you go to. And that slowed me down considerably. I would have liked to give more gifts out, but sadly, by the time my battery pack died out and my phone was starting to uh, lag out, I could only get to, I think I gave out maybe 50 gifts overall, which, you know, that being said, is not a bad amount, but I really wanted to try to give everybody a gift today. It didn't happen. I did guarantee that if my members had a space for a gift, I sent them first and foremost, because for supporting the channel, I want to make sure to give out those gifts to the members. But, yeah, couldn't get one to everybody, unfortunately. I'm going to try again, maybe tomorrow, when I get around and uh, do some Pokestopping. I'm going to have a couple of hard days for Pokemon Go, because turns out today, and or not today, tomorrow for Christmas and Boxing Day, we got no bus service. I can't get around. I don't have my own vehicle. But there are Pokestops in the neighborhood. There's some gyms, so I can still do some stuff. So, anyways, all that being said, I then had a bit of a heartbreak. Because I thought, well, there's not much to eat at the house. We're going to have turkey dinner for tomorrow because that's our big tradition for the family. But that's tomorrow. So today, I thought, I'm going to just get myself a little, you know, a little treat, little personal size pizza. Bring it home for supper. And I stopped into the pizza place uptown. It was shortly after 4 o'clock. Turns out they closed at 4 today. I thought they were going to close at 5. I didn't get my pizza. Turns out we had pizza here anyway, so that's all good. But... I was like, oh man, if I had come here a little bit sooner, I could have done it. But anyways, then I thought, all right, I'll stop at the corner store next to the house as I get home. And I will... Oh, you can't connect to the link? Huh. I wonder if there's a way I can send it to you more directly than that. I don't know. But anyway, I was going to stop into the corner store, pick something up there. And the corner store was closed. Ah, I just can't win today. But I figure, okay, it's Christmas Eve, people want to close early, go home to their families. It's all well and good. All is forgiven. It is the season of forgiven, after all. Okay, so Xander cannot connect to the link. Hmm. I don't know if I can do a direct message other than that. I guess the simple thing, though, Xander, if you just want to give me your uh, friend code right now, I can copy it down. And if you don't have my friend code just yet, I'm going to move it up here. So if you want to grab that friend code, Xander, and copy that to your 3DS friends list, put your code in the chat and I'll grab that, and then we can link up afterwards and I can send you the shiny Pokemon you've been chosen to win. All right, the final Chimchar of the day. We've got more later on, of course. I'm going to send that out right now. And let's see what we can get. Uh, Dazzling Shell says, your experience uh, the su in the Sun and Moon demo, you almost got beaten by Skill Link, Fury Attack, Picky Pack. And Merry Christmas Eve indeed. Delta Sigma is our final trade partner for our Chimchar. Okay, Xander, I shall grab that friend code. So if you want to throw my code on your, er, on your 3DS list when you get a chance, for my name, just put Chaz. Whatever you put, it's going to update once we, uh, once we get connected. And boom. Well, for right now, Hollow, I'm just going to do the friends code for the people that uh, I have to give some Pokemon out to. But in the future, when we do some more like Wi-Fi battling, we can probably friend at that point. I, just wanna, I don't want to overload the friends list too much. i got to make sure I keep space for the people i got to send out the gifts to. All right, so that is the first box or half box complete. Let's see what we got. We got a level 12 Oracorio with Jolly Nature. Dancer ability, of course. Pound, Growl, Peck, and Helping Hand for the moves. We next got a Goldeen at level 26. Hardy Nature with Swift Swim. Flail, Water Pulse, Aqua Ring, and Fury Attack. We got a Lillipup next at level 12 with Bold Nature. Got the Vital Spirit ability. No sleeping for this thing. Odor Sleuth, Bite, Baby Doll Eyes, and Helping Hand. Now we have a Hardy Nature level 9 Abra with Inner Focus. No flinching, thanks. With nothing but Teleport. Nice special attack stat. Maximum. Very cool. 
On occasion, you get a nice 5 IV Pokemon from these Wonder Trades, which is crazy good. Uh, next, we have a Grubbin at level 13. It is timid. It's got Swarm ability. And String Shot, Mud Slap, Bite, and Bug Bite. A couple of bites on that thing. And we also got an Eevee, which is lonely. Uh, level 1, Lonely Nature with Adaptability. We got Helping Hand, Growl, Tackle, and Tail Whip. And decent stuff. Next up, we have a Spinarak with a Hasty Nature at level 2. Insomnia ability with Poison Sting, String Shot, and Constrict. Magnemite here, level 8. Sassy Nature with Sturdy. We've got Tackle, Supersonic, Thundershock, and Magnet Bomb. We've got that Chimchar. Let's take a look at the Chimchar, actually. Level 1, it's a female, actually. Lonely Nature, holding the Pattaya Berry with Leer, Fake Out, Quick Guard, and Encore. Very nice stats, and you said that was from you, Xander. Pretty decent Pokemon. Not bad at all. Next up is Kangaskhan at level 1. Relaxed Nature with the oh-so-tricky scrappy ability. Circle Throw, Counter, Hammer Arm, and Double Edge. And the moves, or the, sorry, the stats are right there. Um, Hollow's asking, how do you use that Judge button? How do you get it? If you, I think it's like you have to hatch 20 eggs, but there's a guy outside the battle tree in the Alola region. If you go to him, he's near the PC, he'll just, he'll act like he's tired, like, oh, you're not knowing enough to impress me to wake up or whatever. But I guess if you hatch 20 eggs, you can then talk to him, and he's like, oh, wow, well, well, I'm gonna give you the Judge feature on your PC. So just hatch 20 eggs, find that guy near the battle tree PC, talk to him, and you're going to get this judge button for you. So you can see what the base IVs are. All right, we next have a skill link picky peck with Brave Nature, level 40. It's got Drill Peck, there's that Bullet Seed, Feather Dance, and Hyper Voice. Here is a Caterpie at level 3 with Mild Nature, the Shield Dust ability preventing uh, secondary conditions, Tackle and String Shot. And the final half one, we got a Rattata at level 9. A mild nature with my favorite ability, Hustle. That's sarcasm for you. Tackle, Tail Whip, Focus Energy, and Quick Attack. We also got a Magikarp. Lax Nature Magikarp, level 13, with the Swift Swim ability. It knows Splash. And finally, we got that Gen 3 water, uh, bird Pokemon I was talking about, Wingle, at level 7. Nature is timid. We got Keen Eye ability. It's holding a pretty wing. Cool. Growl, Water Gun, Supersonic, and boom. All right, so is everybody ready to move on to the box of Gligar? They've all got the Razor Fang. Level it up at night, holding that Razor Fang. You've got yourself a Poison Heal Gly score. I'm starting right now. If you want one of these Pokemon, start Wonder Trading right now. All right, I'm going to clear my number off the screen because that looks messy. Boom, there we go. Oh, let's see. Xander, you got the Chimchar when someone stole your Pokemon yesterday. Oh, yeah. That was the thing with that reverse GTS. I guess I was asking for things that were too rare, and other people were just, like, probably just scouring the GTS looking for them. They were snatching them as soon as they could. I wouldn't have thought someone would want to trade a Chimchar of theirs for Relicanth, but I guess if they were desperate, they probably would trade whatever they could get, or whatever they could, to get that Pokemon that they can't get in their uh, PC. You gotta head out, Hollow. Well, thanks for popping in for now. If you are gonna stick around, I'm gonna stick around, but if you're gonna do Wonder Trading afterwards, you might get something else. But it's up to you if you want to or not. Oh, you'll be back. Okay, awesome stuff. And Dazzling Shells, it's a lot easier for experienced players, unlike the last generations. Yeah, the Judge feature. The last one. Hey, look at this! How timely! We got a Della Bird. Cool! Caught a bunch of them in Pokemon Go recently. No shinies. But, it's a Della Bird with a circle. At the end of its name, what does that circle indicate? I don't know. But that might be kind of cool. Let's we'll check the stats in a little bit. And let us go to the next one. Send that out. So yeah, they could have bred for that one, Xander, indeed. We got the judge feature. I think the first time it was really, that I can recall, really being implemented was Gen 5. But it was not specific that well. Like, now you can simply click the judge button and see what they have for stats. But back then, it was just a guy that would tell you, wow, this one has really good potential. And it would give you an idea what stat was the best and a vague idea what it was like. But here, the judge feature specifically pinpoints what's best, fantastic, very good, and so on down the line. It's not bad. They give you an overall estimate of it, too. They say, you know, outstanding potential is your best. So we got us a... Young Goose, I just stopped and think, is it Gumshoes? No. We got a Young Goose for that one. We still have a bunch more Gligar left to go. So it's looking about, say, 20 to 25 minutes for each box. So yeah, I think we'll just do these six boxes, or six half boxes, which was my plan anyway. 
and then we can all go free and enjoy the Christmas Eve season holiday night whatevers. Hope everybody is ready to roll. So Gen 4 had the judge. Oh, you're right. Yes. But again, it was like back then the judge feature of Gen 4 was still pretty vague. Just gave you an idea what you're looking at for stats. But a lot more user friendly nowadays. Some way. Oh, Hollow got a char. Charmander or Chimchar? I wonder. Hey, fellow Canadian. Timo from Alberta. That's not quite the other side of the coast, but it's somewhere out that way. A little bit further to the west than my area, New Brunswick is. Uh, what was I about to say? Yeah, in a way, it's almost like they made it that, uh, the judge feature... Well, a lot of the features in the game now are features that, back in the day, only hackers could really access. You know, just hacking into the coding of the game and see what the stats were like and stuff like that. So... I kind of have mixed feelings about how easy some of the stuff is now, because as a purist, I guess, of the older generations, I liked that it didn't always just come down to numbers. Like, you know, if you don't have a max stat Pokemon, to me, I don't care. That adds more character to them. My Squirtle, Shelbert, that I've had since Gen 1, well, technically, he comes from the third generation. That's the earliest that you could actually have them upload to this point. But he comes from Fire Red, and as it turns out, this entire time, he has had zero IVs for special defense. I didn't know that, but it makes him more unique in that sense. Sure, he's not going to be amazing in battle when it comes to someone hitting with like special attack, but it's still, it's part of what makes him who he is. So I never thought it was important for the stats. That being said, whenever it comes to breeding Pokemon for you folks out there, I do understand stats are important for sure. So I try to uh, breed the best stats possible for you folks. Because if you're going to use them for battles, I want to make sure you're getting the best thing I can give you. Uh, hello to Daisy the Christmas Leafeon. You couldn't get home to the last stream on time. That's unfortunate. Didn't get to take part in the reverse GTS. But I was thinking we might do that uh, maybe next time. I said I want to do maybe one every, say, six months or so. I could do two every year. What I might do if I start staggering our Wi-Fi battle sessions to be once per month. And then, of course, we'll follow up with, like, Wonder Trading for the remainders of the prizes. I might do, once per every six months, a big reverse GTS for everyone on the whole channel. And give out the remainder of the prize Pokemon from the previous weeks. So I kind of like the idea of sending you folks off to hunt for stuff. But I'm going to make it not quite as hard to find things. Because, of course, as we saw, people were snatching up the uh, Relicant, for example... What else did we have? Did someone else have things stolen? I can't remember. I think it was mostly the Relicant. And I know it was Luigi Striker. Oh, by the way, hello, Luigi Striker. Welcome. Um, are you asking how I am? I don't speak languages. I think you're asking, and if you are, I'm doing okay. How are you doing? Como estas? If I said that right. Oh, uh, let's see. <laughs> Dazzling Shell saying, warning, Proton John is done. And... Isaac Wolf asking, what is it with the warnings? <laughs> exactly. They're not all, they don't all need to be warnings. It's like, they're a big red light. Eh, eh, eh. Proton John's done. Do you mean done done or just done? Done done? Done done done. I don't know. All right. Scorpina the Gligar being sent out. I'm going to upload some little clips to my Twitter and Instagram too because I did some Sinnoh Stone evolutions today in Pokemon Go. I did take down a couple of raid battles and that's my key to do uh, Sinnoh Stone evolutions, but I ran out of Sinnoh Stones. I need to get some more Sinnoh Stones. I still have, I think, three more of my Pokemon ready for evolution with the Sinnoh Stone, but I need to get more of those. I'm patient. I'll get them eventually. I'm not in any big rush to get them all, but I did evolve. What was the first one? I evolved a, well, my, my Gligar in Pokemon Go. I evolved a Porygon 2 and Magmar. So I got those three evolutions in the game now. And Dazzling Shot, would you stop quoting, what is it, BB? Is it BB? I think it's BB. I shouldn't say stop, you just started. But still, that balloon girl is annoying. Throwing extra, you know, animatronics into that ultimate custom night. Not that I've played it, but I've seen it played. Don't know if I would ever really do, say, a Five Nights game as a playthrough, because, like, for one thing, I don't know if I have the uh, the nerves to do it. 
Definitely not a fresh game if I had no idea what it was about. JC from the US, Arkansas is next for our trade partner. But hello to ThunderFX. Welcome to our stream tonight doing some wonder trading with some kind of unique Pokemon species that I've bred up over the uh, many, many months prior to today. But yeah, as far as a Five Nights game, I was considering maybe trying one sometime, but I thought, well, you know what? I've seen Markiplier play all the Five Nights at Freddy's games to the point that he breaks it down, like, step by step with, uh, how to do it. And it's like, it would just be like me trying to recreate what he did, but knowing that the jump scares happen based on certain interactions in the game and stuff, it's like, I don't know if I'd really get scared by it. I might jump, but it's like, overall, it's just a matter of, like... When you watch him, or maybe anyone else even play the game, it starts out scary because you don't know when it's going to happen. But, uh, he eventually gets to the point that if the jump scare happens and he dies in the game, he's not scared. He's he's mad, basically. He's like, oh, I knew that was going to happen. So it, he desensitizes. And I think me watching it the whole time has desensitized me to, like, some, some jump scares and stuff. And Xander's asking, when can we do the trade? Well, as soon as I'm done doing all this wonder trading, because this is priority right now because we're on the stream but once the stream is done i'm gonna go into the link trade actually you know what as soon as the uh wonder trading is done for the last box of haunter then if you're still available i'll look you up i'll add your friend code and then we can do the trade together on the uh the end of the stream if that's okay with you and if today's no good i'm keeping it stored up for you that shiny pokemon we'll do it next time we get a chance to link up so we got us a spiro for that glagar and Thunder FX wants to wonder trade as well. Well, if you're interested in some of these Pokemon, you see me wonder trading a box of particular Pokemon out, feel free to jump on the wonder trade as well and start throwing stuff out there. You might happen to link up and get one of these Razor Fang Holding Gligar, which will evolve into a nice Poison Heal Gly score by leveling up at night, holding that Razor Fang. Daisy's asking, can people donate Pokemon? Uh, I haven't really considered something like that like I wouldn't say no to the idea but I know a lot of the time I like to uh, put in the time to breed stuff like that because I feel like I'm accomplished when I breed up something cool for you guys granted I don't always do the massive breeding and stuff but uh, I want to say massive the, the decent breeding and stuff. sometimes the stats are not amazing but next time we do any like uh, battling like you know Wi-Fi battling if you want to donate a particular Pokemon in exchange for the one I'm giving out yeah, go right ahead. You can donate whichever one you would like to do at that point. We got another Spiro? Back to back Spiro. Huh. Alright, so we got six more Gligar left to go. I'm hoping some of you folks out there can get some of these Pokemon. I know it's going to be pretty cool when we get down to the Scyther box, because those all have the metal coats and they will become Scizor once they evolve up. Proton John is done is from. TRG, We Party Videos, and Mario Party 7. Okay. Does that pertain to our Wonder Trade stream here, I wonder? I don't think it does. Um, what? This is weird. Okay. Hmm. Let's restart the game. This is unfortunate. Communication error. Let's hope that we can get back on. How about that? Crazy stuff. Alright, let's get back in here. Hopefully nothing is, is you know, causing an issue. I know sometimes they say if there's a, a problem, like if you disconnect or something, then you can't do the online stuff for a limited time. We'll see if I'm still allowed to wonder trade. Hopefully so. Yeah, <laughs> Daisy saying, pray that Chaz will not get trade banned. I'm sure we're fine. I think I've had that message pop up once before in there. I didn't see any issue with it, but we'll see what happens. Let's go back into the Festival Plaza. Sorry, Rotom, didn't mean to cut you off there, but we got to get back to our stream. Go back to wonder trade. Hope for the best. Fingers crossed, everybody. Can I still send out Pokemon tonight? Worst case scenario, if I can't, then I'll save the rest of these Pokemon for after Christmas. I think probably not Boxing Day, but maybe the 27th. I'll do some more Wonder Trading for the remainder of our Pokemon. Alright, let's see. GameSync was cancelled. Okay, that's acceptable. 
I've seen that happen before. Hmm. Are we fine? I think we're okay. Okay then. It does happen sometimes in the Daisy. And the runaway guy's videos in question was about Chugga's blind luck. I see. Trade ban is 30 minutes, but I think things are going. I'm not seeing any error me uh, messages right now. If we find a partner, I think we are good. There we go. Excellent. Okay. No trade ban. Yes, your prayers have worked, Daisy. Thank you very much. All right. Let's continue on with our wonder trade session. We're not even halfway through just yet. I mean, it's only been 40 minutes, though, so we still got, uh, got plenty of time. It might actually only take a couple hours to go through this completely. We got a Rufflet. I don't see Rufflet that often. Actually, in Pokemon Conquest, we have a Rufflet in one of the next gyms, or gyms, <laughs> in one of the next kingdoms that we uh, have to take on. Avia, I think it's called. Actually, the, the Warlord there has a Braviary, which... Hopefully, I'll be able to take down. I really want to play Conquest tonight, now that I talk about it. Alright, let's trade out another Gligar. Isaac Wolf was trade banned for 24 hours. Ouch. What happened? Was it power outage or, like, the Wi-Fi disconnect or something? Maybe Nintendo's watching the live stream and they see that, oh, he's not doing anything bad. Alright, well, let's see what we can and get. If I'm trade banned, when you click on the Festival Plaza menu... Oh, it'll say something about not trading in. Okay, sweet. Yeah, I've never had a ban, so I don't know what it would say. So for this Gligar, Scorponok, we're going to get... We've got one minute to find a trade partner. I'm sure we're good. We'll get somebody. There's a Wi-Fi problem. Okay. Which, you know, could be a thing, as we've seen on my streams before. My Wi-Fi likes to mess up on me. My internet just, like goes out sometimes but even with that I've never had a ban yet fortunately so we have Garen from California in the US as our next trade partner for this particular Gligar by keeping half the boxes until a later stream as well not only is it cutting down the time we're here tonight so you guys can go off and enjoy your Christmas festiv uh, festivities yeah festivities but it allows me some more time to try to pick up some more razor fangs for the other Gligar so I want to make sure to have as many of those evolution items as I can. And Unknown Spike says, I should do a Conquest live stream. Who all would be interested if I did do another half hour to a 45 minute live stream for Conquest tonight? Because I, I do just love playing the game. But I don't want to take away from whatever stuff you might have going on for the holiday season. And are you sure it's not too late for you, Unknown Spike? You just said you just passed into midnight recently. Not too long ago, you went over into uh, Christmas Day. I don't want to keep you up too late or anything. Daisy was trade banned for 30 minutes because of a communication error. Which we had, but fortunately I lucked out and I don't have the ban. Maybe whoever I was trading with did something shenaniganery and did not get, uh, or they got trade banned perhaps. So Quentin from Kentucky in the US is up next. Wilson says, what's this? I thought you only played TCG. Nope, actually, I do all sorts of Pokemon stuff. Right here, what we're doing tonight, for the past, say, what is it, several months, I've been doing some Wi-Fi battles in Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon with people, giving out certain prizes for winners who can defeat me. We recently went through a whole bunch of different Wi-Fi battles of me using all the Pokemon below in the layout, and those Pokemon were available as prizes, or, you know, other copies of those Pokemon. I still have boxes left of those species, so we're finishing off this whole breeding session that I went through with Wonder Trading, the remainder of these Pokemon. So if you play the Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon games, or even regular Sun or Moon, if you want some of these Pokemon, jump into your Wonder Trade and start trading stuff out as I'm trading, and you might pick up some of these cool Pokemon. Uh, Daisy's asking, what is Pokemon Conquest? Essentially, it's like... Base, uh, think of it like... Fire Emblem people relate it to. It's not your typical, you know, uh, regular Pokemon game. You have a battlefield that you go onto, and you have multiple characters, each of which has one Pokemon. Now, you go into the battlefield, you move around the field on each turn, and you attack with your Pokemon. The idea is you're trying to conquer the entire region of 17 different kingdoms, all of which focus on a particular typing. 
And it's really cool. Like, your Pokemon can level up, or not level up, you can build up your link with them. The higher their link, the stronger they get. The stronger they get, the more they might evolve into other species. So it keeps a lot of the classic Pokemon stuff, but it's a new spin on it. And it was a side game that came out back in, I think, 2012, when Gen 5 was out. And it's just really cool. Alright, so we've got two more of these Gligar to send out, then we'll finish up this box. Uh, do I play Pokemon Go? Asks Wilson. Yes, I do, actually. I was out doing that today to try to get some gifts for folks in Pokemon Go, because it is the Christmas season. I wanted to send out some stuff, but the game said, you know what? You'll get one gift for every four or five stops you spin. And I'm like, alright, I'll give out as many gifts as I can, I guess. But yes, I play Pokemon Go, the card game, as you see, and I play Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, and the Pokemon Conquest as well. Kind of an older game, but it's really good. Uh, first example. Example of, looks like, is that uh, Chugga's Good Luck? I see. And Unknown Spike will watch the stream. Okay, so I might go ahead and do a Conquest tonight. I won't go for too long, because I don't want to uh, overload with too much you know, stuff today. I don't want you guys to have to sit here watching all day long. I mean, I could still just live stream, and if you don't want to watch it during the live stream, you can just come back and check it out later. I guess. So maybe I'll go ahead and do that. I really want to play. I've learned something cool about Pokemon Conquest that's going to help me off-screen with building up stronger Pokemon. Uh, indeed, Wilson, I am a big Pokemon fan. I've played ever since Gen 1 first came out. Uh, back when Pokemon Red and Blue, I was a Pokemon Blue player. Is that 98 it came here to North America, I think? And I've been playing it ever since. Slightly, I did kind of fall off a bit when it came to Gen 3. I played through Gen 3, but after that, like after the main series, the main story was done, not a lot of people were playing it in my area anymore, so, you know, didn't have a lot of interactivity with it. But then when Gen 4 came out, when they brought in the Wi-Fi, the Nintendo Wi-Fi connection, I realized I could play with people all over the world, and that brought me back into it, and I've been into Pokemon ever since that generation, for sure. And, let's see. Daisy says, you found that trade ban usually doesn't happen at Wonder Trade. Oh, GTS and Link Trade is when it would happen. I see. And hello to Greg Hen. Welcome to our Wonder Trade stream for the evening. I've just finished trading out the half box of Gligar. We're, keep, we're only doing a half box of each species tonight. I'm saving more Pokemon for a later stream, probably on the 27th of December, to trade more of those Pokemon out. But, right now, let's see what we got for our uh, Gligar we sent out. So first was that cool, cool, ice type, Delibird, level 1, Adamant Nature, with Vital Spirit. Adamant's not bad, it's probably more physical than special, and I don't know, it could be either. We got Present, of course, Ice Punch, Ice Shard, and Fake Out. Those must be egg moves. That is a pretty nice Delibird. Only HP is lacking on that. Very nice. That might be a breeding partner for something in the future. Next, we have a level 9 Young Goose, Hasty Nature with Stakeout Ability with Tackle, Leer, and Pursuit. Next is a Rock and Rolla. I feel like burps are coming up. Probably that pizza I had earlier. Level 13 Rock and Rolla with Hardy Nature, the ability of Weak Armor. It's got Tackle, Harden, Sand Attack, and Headbutt. Now is a, another Young Goose. At level 2, with Careful Nature, Stakeout Ability, we've got the Tackle, we've got kind of basic stat-wise. We now have a Fero, level 28, with the Quiet Nature and Keen Eye for the ability. Aerial Ace, Mirror Move, Assurance, and Agility. And yet another Young Goose, with level, or sorry, with level 14, at level 14, with Timid Nature, Stakeout Ability, Leer, Pursuit, Sand Attack, and Odor Sleuth. I keep saying, I like the idea that maybe some of these Pokemon I send out were, uh given to people that might be doing a Nuzlocke, for example. Because, like, I really like the fact that if they catch something basic in a Nuzlocke, like, no, not Nuzlocke, Wonderlock. Wonderlocks are when you catch something, you have to Wonder Trade it out and get something back. I'm hoping I can help people out doing something like that. Anyway, next we have a Rowlet at level 1 with Adamant Nature. The ability is Overgrow. Tackle and Leafage for the moves. Next we got one of two Spearow back-to-back. Level 13, Relax Nature with the ability of Keen Eye. Growl, Leer, Pursuit, and Fury Attack. The other Spearow is level 11 with Careful Nature, Keen Eye, Growl, Leer, Pursuit, Fury, Attack, basic stats all around there. Next is a level 1 Rufflet with Docile Nature and Keen Eye ability, Peck and Leer for the attacks, Massive, sorry, Massive Maximum, Special Attack and Speed with very good physical attack. 
We have a hardy natured blaze litten at level one with scratch ember fake out and crunch couple egg moves on that it looks like now we have a nice little Ella Kid, level 1 with a sassy nature with a static ability, quick attack, and leer for the moves. Now next up we have a... I like how it's... you can't really see it because the uh, the logo, but it's called Nebulak. I think that's, that's the German name for Ghastly, Nebulak. We've got a Ghastly at level 23, Calm Nature with Levitate for the ability. We've got Curse, Nightshade, Confuse Ray, and Sucker Punch. And Axew, up next, level 1, Timid Nature with Rivalry, Scratch and Dragon Pulse, pretty nice stat-wise. And last but not least, a Zubat with Modest Nature, Inner Focus for the ability at level 12, with Absorb, Supersonic, Astonish, and Bite, and basic stats all around. Alright, so if you guys want one of these, Skarmory... As I said earlier, it's got the uh, egg moves you can see right there. Impish nature, the ability is sturdy. Stats are based around HP and defenses. I'm going to start wonder trading right now. And I think I tried to get as many with the best attacks as I could as well. So trade begins. And now that I'm done talking, let me check out the chat again here. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's, okay, you're... Chaz, I'll try to trade you by failed trade attempt, says Daisy. All right, yeah, so if you wonder trade and get something that you're not looking for, feel free just to toss it right back out there again. You might link up with me the second time or some other time. And breeding attempts, you say. Greg is offering a free shiny shaman to somebody. Looks like Daisy's asking for it. Xander's also asking for it, so they're linking up. And did I catch your final comment for the last stream? Dazzling Shell is asking. I don't know. Feel free to let me know again what you had said. Because I was signing off at that point, and I might not have caught the last messages. Oh, look at this! We got a Graveler. You know what that means? We're going to see an evolution into a Lolan Golem. That's cool. That's why I want to do stuff like I'm trading out Haunter here. I want to give someone an evolution through trade. And, like, the Scyther as well. All right, wait for it. Now, I was talking to my nephew about this, too. I cannot, B-button, cancel this evolution. You can only cancel level up evolutions, I believe. But a trade evolution, it is guaranteed it has to happen. Listen to the music. I like how the music's different. I'm going to turn my heater off. It's getting too warm in here. All right, do you want to learn a new move, Golem? No, you're fine. Okay. So look at that. We got a nice Golem for our giveaway. I got a Christmas present right there. Sweet. I don't know if I had a Lolan Golem yet. I probably had regular Golem. But, there we go. I love how when you power up, I think it's power up, or maybe it's when you evolve it, but in Pokemon Go, when you evolve your Alolan Graveler into Alolan Golem, it leans toward the camera and it shoots that, you know, rock out of its back. That was cool. Alright, we have our next trade partner from Japan coming up next. And, Xander got a shiny Pumpkaboo with... And Everstone. Do they evolve through trade? They would, wouldn't they? Because uh, Phantom also evolves through trade, if I recall. That's a big troll move. If they send out a trade Pokemon holding Everstone. Someone had asked me if I was giving out uh, the Haunter that I was trading out, if they have Everstone. It's like, of course they don't. I wouldn't put someone through that. Look at that, Ratfrats. I love some of the other, uh, other language names for these Pokemon. But no, I wouldn't give out a trade evolved Pokemon and have it hold an Everstone. That's just a troll move. It's like when people put a Pokemon in the GTS. Say, like, a sh uh, I've seen a shiny Kyogre, and they're asking for a male Lugia. You cannot get a male Lugia. They are genderless. But somehow people can put something in and ask for that just to taunt people and say, here's a shiny Kyogre. You ain't getting it, because you can't give me what I'm asking. But check it out. That's just annoying. Don't do that, peoples. Uh, Daisy saying, imagine if Chaz gets one of those Twitch streamers. I've done that, actually, in the past. Um, I forget some of the names. We might see them tonight here, though, if they're doing streaming. But I've gotten some with uh, something .tv, and when I look it up on Google, it takes me to their Twitch page, and it's like, oh, cool. I got a Pokemon from one of those big streams. Now, not to down-talk anybody, but I don't think those are legit Pokemon. Because when I get a Pokemon through Wonder Trait, if it's perfect 100% IVs, level 100, shiny, I have a hunch that is not legitimate. Because if you had a Pokemon like that, perfect IVs, shiny, you train it to level 100, who out there would honestly trade that away? 
If anything else, I would keep it, but I would give it to someone directly on the channel. I wouldn't just randomly wonder trade it out. I would make sure someone who put effort into supporting the channel gets it. I would just randomly send it out. Oh, it's a bot doing those channels. Oh, I see. And hello to Xerniex. Is that sort of like Xerniex, maybe? Oh, I see. Welcome to our stream. And Daisy's saying, yeah, they are hacked. I had a feeling they would be, because, like, I don't know. See, what I like with what I'm doing, my Pokemon might not be maximum, but I do put the effort to breed them, because for me, I don't even, well, first of all, I don't have the uh, hacking equipment to do it, right? But if even if I did, well, I, here's the thing. I would never get it, because I, to me, I don't think that is right. Just for my personal taste. I actually talked to a friend of mine about this before, about, you know, hacking a game and stuff like that. And I guess my my initial thought process growing up was like, I am completely 100% against people altering the game outside of what the programmers have designed it to do, you know? Because they made it a certain way, you should play it a certain way. But she made a good point that sometimes the game as it is, you play through it like 50 times, and whatever game it is, you know what's going to happen, you're kind of bored of it, you want something different, a new challenge. So, she had said, affecting the game for her own purposes, but not interacting with anyone else, keeps it interesting. And I thought, okay, that I can understand. But when it comes to something like, you know, a Wi-Fi connected game, that you interact with other players, altering the game data, and interacting with other people, alters their experience with the game. So, that's when I don't think it's right. We got Daffy! Daffy the Psyduck, I like that. But, yeah, so anyway, that's my opinion on hacking and stuff. I don't do it myself, and I don't want to interact with other, you know, hacked Pokemon. It's inevitable you're going to when you play online, though, because not everyone out there has that same mindset. But as far as I'm concerned, I ain't gonna hack nothing. I'm gonna put the effort in to breed these Pokemon the best that I can, because there's, there's heart in it, there's soul in that, you know? It's not just me beep, 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 hitting buttons, and you got yourself a Pokemon. It can be frustrating for sure. Like, it took me forever to get our next trade partners, or trade, our breeding partners ready to roll, but I have them ready. I'm going to start breeding them for our next Wi Fi battle session starting in uh, January of next year. That's right, you got to wait, wait until 2019 for our next Wi Fi battles. But that's not that far away. But putting the effort in, I finally got the good breeding partners and stuff, so I feel accomplished. And hopefully, the Pokemon I give out are going to do you well in battles. If you can defeat me in those upcoming Wi-Fi sessions, which admittedly will be completely very easy because I'm going to be using my own in-game teams from various generations, and since I don't do any hacking or anything, they're just caught out of the wild, they're pretty low IVs, let's say. All right, so onto the second line of Skarmory. Let's send this one out here. And there's also cloning, says Daisy, indeed. Yeah, because I don't know how to do it, but, there, you know, it's it's data. It's video game data. It's bits and bytes, whatever. It's, no, that's a can. No, okay, it's a snack food. But anyway, there's data, and it can be manipulated and stuff, so... I'm all... I'm against all that kind of stuff, of me doing it. Again, if it's a personal game that doesn't affect anything, if you don't use it on Wi-Fi, go crazy. I shouldn't condone that, because, you know, game designers say that voids the game and stuff like that, but... If it doesn't hurt anybody else, is the thing. If it inter if it basically interferes or alters someone else's game experience, that's when I say it shouldn't be done. Just like, for example, in Pokemon Go, spoofing. I'm against spoofing when it comes to affecting other people's games. If people spoof in Pokemon Go and go all around the world and catch every regional there is, I'm not going to say anything about that. Unless they use them like in gyms and the trainer battles and stuff, because then it does affect you know players and stuff. But that's a whole other can of worms. I don't have anything against the spoofing. It's just what some of the people use the spoofing for. And Dazzling Shell has an Apu quote down there. Daisy does not like the hacking, but you would like to clone. I see. See, I, that's for me. I would never want to do that. It's like I look at my going back to my Gen One Pokemon, Shellbert the Squirtle. I wouldn't want to ever clone him. He's a one-of-a-kind guy. So, yeah, I would never want to do that myself, personally. Just my own opinion on the game. Other people have different opinions, of course. And... What was I going to say? Another thing that I don't do... Hyper-training. I've actually never done any hyper-training 
in Pokemon Moon or Pokemon Ultra Sun, the two Gen 7 games that I have. Because, not that it really matters, but... What is that? <laughs> Sand is fake. Get this thing off my screen. Spreading lies. On Christmas Eve. That's a Makuhita you don't want to talk to. Anyways. Uh, yeah, hyper training, because I'm thinking, to me, it's like the, the IVs that the Pokemon are created with. That's like, think of their, like, their DNA, their genetics and stuff. When I first heard that hyper training was going to be able to adjust those, I was thinking, that sounds like genetic engineering and DNA manipulation. And it's like, I don't know if I want to do that. But I don't have anything against it, because it is basically you're just boosting up their stats. But I, as I said earlier, the fact that Shelbert has zero IVs for special defense, that's part of his uniqueness. And if I... If I basically, if I hyper train Shelbert to be perfect all across the board, it's like he's no different than any other Max Squirtle. So I like how he's unique. He's not the best, but he's unique and he's special and he's important to me. And that's what I'm okay with. But other people, if you want to hyper train your Pokemon, boom, be my guest. It's smart to do that. I am admittedly making things harder for myself by not doing it. But I like a challenge for one thing. Plus, I like the guys as they are, which is really cool because some of the Pokemon I've caught in the wild have been amazingly good. Um, my Ninetales caught her as a Vulpix back in Fire Red. She has nearly perfect stats. She was just a wild encounter, wild capture in uh, outside, uh, was it Celadon City, I believe it was. My uh, Roselia I caught, no, sorry, Roserade caught as a Badoo back in, spoilers, not going to say what game, but caught in one of the earlier generations turns out he's got amazingly crazy good stats as well so i love the random chance of finding things like that oh let's see so dazzling shell says that's for all the reverse gts trading and the magic card is that the the quote you mean i'm not sure and speaking of magic card boom we got a magic card for our skarmory and xander says someone offered trade named brian i guess maybe that's not who's linking up there. Uh, let's see. Unknown Spike also does not, like, does not like the hacking. Yeah, like, again, if people want to alter their own game for their own personal use, that's something I'm going to turn a blind eye towards. And not. There's no need to get into a, a kerfuffle about that. But when it comes to altering others' experiences, that's when I'm like, that's nah. Because if I wanted to play a game and not have any possible hacking, glitching stuff interfere with it, if someone then uses something glitched or hacked against me, it's like, well, now my experience has been altered. Not, It's not pure to the game. So, I don't know. I just like the thought that not doing anything outside the realm of what other players can normally access, I think should just be uh, kind of kept the same. But, again, different uh, different strokes for different folks, as they say. Uh, seeing some Merry Christmases tossed around the chat, by the way. Yeah, Merry Christmas, everybody, for the uh, Christmas Eve big day. The bigger day, of course, tomorrow being Christmas when all our presents are getting picked up. So, for you folks out there that might happen to know what you're getting for Christmas, you know, don't, don't go peeking in your presents already, but if you happen to know what you're getting, what are you looking forward to getting for Christmas? I know a few things I'm getting. Basically, my father decided, let's wait till Christmas Eve and do some shopping. Which was not too bad. It wasn't really too bad out there. It could have been a lot busier, fortunately. But I just got a couple pairs of pants and a new winter coat coming my way from good old dad, so that's kind of nice. I need to get a couple new pairs of pants for a while. And I know it doesn't sound glamorous. I, I should be saying, I'm getting a Switch. I'm getting the Let's Go Pikachu. I'm getting Gen 8 already. Ugh. But I'm getting pants and a coat. But to me, that's what I need. So that's what I'm going for. Uh, we got Daniel from U.S. United... Or sorry, U.S. United States. <laughs> new York, United States. Coming up next. Uh, let's see... Daisy says, if you use your in-game team, you will when you're Wi-Fi battling me. Yeah, if you want to, go ahead. You, like, once we do the, the standard weekly battles, that's when we use the uh, flat rules, where, you know, certain things are restricted. You can't use mythical Pokémon. Certain big-time legendaries cannot be used. And you gotta have different Pokémon, you can't use the same species, and you have different held items for each one. So the rules are a little bit more restrictive there, just to give me a bit more of a, uh, you know, level battlefield, but I'm still pretty easy to beat. That's why I make the, the end season showdowns, as I call them, that much more free for you folks out there, because I bring the big stuff, and I want you to bring the big stuff as well. Oh, let's see, so... Uh... 
Daisy cannot trade. The battery is broke. Ah, oh, sorry to hear that. Hello to Mystic DTA and Gabriel. Welcome to our stream tonight for some wonder trading. We're finishing up our third of six half boxes here full of Skarmory. The next Pokemon we start trading out is going to be Scyther Holding Metal Coat. If anyone in the chat wants to try, to, try their hand at getting a Scizor once this next box starts trading out. I still have a half box of each species, though. We're going to save those for a stream after Christmas. I'm thinking we're aiming for the 27th, which is a few days away from now. But I want you guys to have time to, ex to enjoy the Christmas season and stuff. Just You can come back to the channel later on. Enjoy Christmas. Enjoy whatever gifts you're getting. Like, Xander's saying you're getting some money for Christmas. Nice. It's always good to get that. I've always had a weird thought about giving money to people for Christmas. For not just Christmas, but any... You know, present, like a uh, birthday present, Christmas present, whatever. I used to think I want to put the effort into thinking of a good gift that would suit the person. And because to me, it's almost like, what would you call it? It's, you know, it's a challenge. I need to prove that I know this person well enough to choose something they're going to love. But sometimes you just don't know the person. And in cases like that, I've always thought, well, you can just hand money and they can buy what they want. And I was sort of against that idea because it's to me it almost feels like you don't care enough to put in the thought but the idea is you know gift cards are a thing as well to me at first it felt like the same thing where it's like yeah but that's like saying here's money value here you go i didn't think of anything for you you can pick it out and it's like giving them work however i do feel better about the gift card idea than simply cash because the idea is if I give someone, like, you know, $50, okay, they can buy whatever they want, wherever they want. But if I give them a $50 gift card for, say, you know, a video game store or something, then <laughs> we got MC Nugget. Yeah. But if I give them a gift card for a video game store, I know that that $50 is going to be spent on a game that they're going to like to play, as opposed to, oh, here's 50 bucks. i got to pay my phone bill this month, and they put that money there. You know, you want them to get something present-like, something, you know, uh something tangible that they can hold and play with and stuff like that so I do feel better about the gift card idea than the simply giving cash and that's how I think about presents I would prefer though to of course get something personally pick something out physically like that you can wrap and hand to them so our last Skyrim is going up to Stuart in the US here let's see what we're gonna get in a return and then we'll review the entire box of what we picked up but let's see what's going on else in the chat. So Gabriel's getting an Xbox One. Cool. One X, I guess. Mystic DTA will have a great Christmas, or I will. Yeah, have a great Christmas, or Mystic DTA will. You don't want that to happen to you, folks. Have a great Christmas. Actually, no. Mystic DTA, you have one as well. We should all have a great Christmas. Uh, Mystic DTA saying, buy Nintendo Switch. If I had the cash, I would. I do want to get one in time for the next main release of Pokemon. It's going to be Gen 8. I think they're saying 2019 they're planning on that. I do want to get that at least, you know, for the channel for sure so we can show off the next generation and move my Pokemon further into the world of Pokemon. Uh, I'm going to check out once again on the chat here. Uh, Daisy, hyper train one of your team members. That's fine, you know. Hyper training is a thing, like I said. No problem whatsoever. And Greg's in charge of the uh, DS. Daisy, you can tell me the team if you want. Yeah, go right ahead. If you if you want to keep it surprised, go ahead. But if you want to let me know, that's fine too. And Zelto says, just buy video games because everyone likes those. It is true. And Daisy wants to get Smash Brothers Ultimate. Zelto says, who doesn't? And hello to Zelto. I don't think I said hi to you yet, but welcome to our stream. And my nephew has Smash Brothers Ultimate. Actually, some of my classmates have it too at my course. And I have not played it yet. I mean, I could, easily, but I just haven't had the time to sit down and really do it. But from what I've seen, it looks like a pretty decent game indeed. All right, so let's review our Skarmory box. We got first that Alolan Graveler into Alolan Golem. Level 31 with the Modest Nature, Magnet Pull Ability, Smackdown, Thunder Punch, Self Destruct, and Stealth Rock for the moveset. Very good special attack. It's not the best stat you want on a Golem, but hey, whatever. Next up, we have a Rattata, Ratfrats, at level 3. With Timid Nature, the ability is Gluttony. Is that a hidden ability? I think it is. We have Tackle and Tail Whip. Next is a Larvitar at level 1. It's a female, could be bred. Rash Nature with the ability Guts. That is a hidden ability, I'm pretty sure. Bite and Leer. Wow! That is a good Larvitar to get. 
that is probably going to be a breeding partner in the future. I could breed up Larvitar for you folks in a later, uh, later gym sequence. All right, next up we have a Pseudo Widow at level 12 with a Rockhead ability. Nature is lax. It's got Copycat, Flail, Low Kick, and a Rock Throw. Next we have Daffy the Psyduck at level 50 with a Hasty Nature. The ability is Damp. We've got Psych Up, Amnesia, Hydro Pump, and Wonder Room. And we got a Pichu. I hashed a Pichu today in Pokemon Go with the Santa Hat. It's awesome. Careful Nature with Static Ability. It's got Thunder Shock and Charm. Special Defense was Maximum. So we got us a Golbat next at level 50 with the Bashful Nature. The ability is Inner Focus. Air Cutter, Mean Look, Acrobatics, and Poison Fang for the moves. We now have Makuhita. At uh, level 9 with a Rash Nature, the ability is Thick Fat. We got Tackle, Focus Energy, Sand Attack, and Arm Thrust. Now is a C Dot. I haven't even mentioned what we got during the trades. I've just been talking the whole time. Anyway, C Dot at level 1, Naughty Nature with Chlorophyll. Bide is the only move. Maximum speed, though. Pretty cool. And we have a Magikarp at level 1. Lax Nature with Swift Swim. Splash is the only move. Max Special Attack. Max Defense. Cool. Now we have a Magneton at level 33. Relax Nature with Sturdy Ability. Try Attack, Magnet Bomb, Electro Ball, and Flash Cannon. Oh, forgot the Alolan Executor. Right there at level 45. The Nature is Serious. We got the Frisk Ability. I've got to put a Pokemon with Frisk on my item hunting team, so I know which things have items when they come in. We got Confusion, Psy Shock, Egg Bomb, and Wood Hammer. And the last line, we got us a Fletchling, level 1, Lax Nature with Big Pecs, Quick Attack, Peck, Agility, and Flail. We have a Ralt MC Nugget, Lax Nature with the ability Trace. We've got Shadow Sneak, Encore, Destiny Bond, and Memento. How strange that a lot of those moves I have prepared breeding on our Ralts as gifts in the next Wi Fi session. Okay, stat wise, there as well. And a Picky Peck from Fat Amy. With Bashful Nature, the ability is Keen Eye. We've got Peck and Growl. And boom. All right, now. This is the box of Scyther. They all have metal coats. They will become Scizor through trade. If you folks want one of these Scizor, I'll show you their stats. Most of them are going to be like this. Uh, I don't think speed is what I've prioritized for the, the uh, stats, but most of them, I think they all have max attack and max defenses, or pretty close to it. And... The rest is good to go. So these are starting to trade right now. If you want one of these, good luck, everybody. Okay, let's get caught up on the chat as these first ones are going out. Uh, Zelto did not pre-order Smash Ultimate because you already pre-ordered. Let's go Eevee. I mean, that's the hard thing when there's multiple awesome games coming out. What, which one do you go for? It's hard to choose sometimes. Uh, let's see. Daisy says you would take more than the age of the Earth to play everything in Smash Ultimate. And you're saying this for real. It could take a while, indeed. Benji, a fellow Canadian, is our first trade partner. Uh, Mystic says, if I'll, I'll like, if I'll get like Nintendo Switch. What am I saying? I'm like reading that wrong. Should you get Let's Go Eevee or Let's Go Pikachu? Oh, if you buy the Nintendo Switch. That's a good question. What do you folks suggest? Eevee or Pikachu for the Let's Go games? And Greg is asking, anyone have a shiny clay doll for trade? If anyone does, feel free to uh, make up a little trade arrangement there in the chat and Merry Christmas to Sailor Pika welcome to our stream Merry Christmas Eve indeed we are doing some uh, wonder trading of our remainder of these prize Pokemon here our second Scyther into Scizor going out right now Daisy saying that the online feature for the uh, let's go games not that good I, uh, I've never played them I've seen people play them though um, what was I gonna say like I'm more in tune with waiting for another main series game. And I heard, didn't someone say that it's going to have, like, Final Fantasy-type graphics or something like that? Oh, come on! What's with this? What other trainer? What other trainer? We didn't even link with anyone yet. I'm still on the internet. What the... That's two weird connection things today. It's not my internet, though. Stream is fine, from what I can see. All right, let's try this again. Uh, let's see. Overall, it's a good game, says Mystic. And everyone's sharing the Merry Christmases in the chat. Awesome stuff. Xander recommends the Let's Go Eevee. Zelta recommends Let's Go Eevee. Pikachu's overrated. Um, Gabriel recommends... Are you recommending one of the games, too? I'm not sure. So Isaac is doing some early Christmas gift opening. I see. So do you do the thing... Well, our family always had a tradition. We could open up one present Christmas Eve night but then wait for the rest Christmas morning. 
And I I don't know if I really do it anymore. We've got a bag on. For me, it's like part of a gift is the weight. You know, like some people, like sometimes my mother would get me something for Christmas when I was younger. And she would say, if you want it now, you can open it Christmas Eve night or even a few days before. And I'd be like, no way. Part of the weight. No, part of the, the gift is the weight, you know, the anticipation. Even if I know what it is, it's like uh, depriving myself of enjoying it early. It's like it's going to make it that much more better, more better. That's English. When I finally get to open it for sure and I have it then. That's kind of the same thing that I think about with uh, Pokemon Go. Like, you know, again, talking about spoofers. Like, some people will spoof all over the place and get every new species they can once they come out. And, you know, to each their own. But for me, I like the thrill of getting stuff through patience and having it happen on, like, a regular time frame. And I don't know. It's just, I like being patient and stuff. Because to me, the payoff feels better when you wait for it. And you put in the time for it. Okay, let's see. There's a possibility for Gen 8 in 2019, says Zelto. Yeah, I heard... Oh, we're getting a Froakie. I heard that they were planning on that, like, late 2019. I'm thinking if they do it in 2019, probably for, you know, holiday season, for gifts and all that. But I definitely gotta get a Switch so I can record our Gen 8 adventures, just like we did with the Alola region here. Uh, Zelto says you might celebrate Christmas late, and Mystic... Asking, saying, can I ask why? Is that you're asking Zelto? Or were you asking me, perhaps? I'm not sure. Right, let's listen to another, oh, a female clogger up here this time. And Daisy says, the Let's Go, Pokemon Let's Go has the worst mechanic of trading and battling with friends. You gotta put in a code, and whoever has the same code, you trade with. Oh, yeah, that's different. I do find it interesting, too, that uh, the Let's Go games, they cannot connect to like any other games basically I th they look like sort of a side game where you can send Pokemon from Pokemon Go into Let's Go but they can't come back out and from what I understand once they're in Pokemon Let's Go they can't really move anywhere else they're just there so I've, I love ever since Gen 3 well Gen 3 into Gen 4 I've loved the way that they've allowed Pokemon to advance up because you've put all this effort into building them up. Like, for me, I've gotten so many ribbons for con uh, contests, other achievements in the Pokemon franchise. Like, I've got some ribbons on some of my main Pokemon from back in the GameCube days. And you can't get those GameCube things anymore, those GameCube ribbons in this generation. So it commemorates where they've been and what they've done. And if I was limited to just the Let's Go game, I, I don't know, I wouldn't really like that, personally. I do like the Let's Go games for the uh, mystery box, however. The fact that you can send one Pokemon into the Let's Go game and get the mystery box in Pokemon Go, which gets you a whole bunch of Meltan, which if you did see the more, uh, one of the more recent Pokemon Go videos, I got so many candies from the double candy event going on at the time and using pinup berries. I went from like 90-some candies up to 340, was it? That's a nice increase of candy for Meltan. Of course, you need 400 to evolve into Mel Metal, and I'm this close, uh, that close. I need like I think I have another 40 more at this point. All right, so we got us in a Lolan Meowth for our Scyther this time. Uh, let's see. Mystic saying you might just take Breath of the Wild. That's uh, that's a good game. I died really easy in it. I was playing my friend Evan's copy of it, and I found the most dramatic way to die in that. I was trying to find the different shrines, or the second shrine that you need to get to, you know, get your next power up or whatever it is. I can't, I can't really remember what the, the shrines were giving you, but I think it was to get a power up for your, basically your Sheikah tablet. It's a tablet, that's what they give you. But I was going across the snowy mountain, I ate a piece of food that gave me like cold resistance. So I'm running as fast as I can, eventually it runs out, I'm starting to get cold, losing my health, but... I then got out of the cold, and I was right above where the shrine was. I was on a mountain ledge above it. So I was like, oh, all I gotta do is simply climb down. So I start walking to the edge. I was preparing to hit A to grab and start climbing. Link decided, I'm gonna jump. So he jumped off the ledge, hit the ground by the shrine, and it says, you've discovered such and such shrine. As it says that, Link rolled over dead. Game over. And at that point, I was like, I put the controllers down. I said, well, I can't accomplish any more today. That's my highlight of the day. And I went to sleep. But it's a fun game for sure. 
So I got us a Litten for that Scizor. I hope these Scizor are doing people good in their games as they're trading out. And like I said, I really, really hope I happen to wonder trade with somebody who's doing a Wonder Lock. Because could you imagine playing a Wonder Lock and you send out, like, say, a level, like a Route 1 Grubbin, getting a Scizor in exchange for that? That would be pretty decent for a Wonder Lock. Alright, let's see here. Caught up on the chat once again. Uh, Daisy's willing to wait for it. The only thing in life you can control. Lyrics from the song, wait for it. Oh, okay, see, I didn't get that. That was like, whoosh, over my head. Uh, Greg and Gabriel look like they're going to try to trade. Oh, Zelta, when are your parents to get out of the hospital? And isn't well enough to go out. And the other one just went into the hospital. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. It's, I was going to say, especially this time of the year, but any time of the year, that's not good to happen. So... As uh, Xander's saying, hopefully they do get better soon. You know, to be able to enjoy the rest of the uh, the downtime of the Christmas season. And you're all back together pretty soon. Best wishes to you and your family from Professor Chaz and I'm sure the rest of us here on the channel as well. That's never a good time for that to happen. Alright, so they're doing the trade. I see you guys are getting set up. Okay, getting your trade ready to go there. And let's go ahead and trade with Benjamin from Michigan. What's that say? Nimbasa's Pokemon can dance a nimble bossa? What? Nimbasa, nimble bossa. What was that line from? Well, obviously it's from uh, Innova, but I've never heard that line used before. And we got a magic harp for all that. That big intro. Here's a magic harp. It could be hidden ability magic harp with max IVs, though. Do you think it's what it's going to be? I'm thinking no. But hopefully that scissor does Benjamin well. All right, how many more do we got to go for our Scyther? I think we're on the second line now. Yeah, we're already on the second line. So we've got uh, seven more to go for these. Then we'll get a box of, or half box of Chansey on the move. And then to finish up, we'll do the Haunter. And if Xander is still with us by the end of the stream, we're going to do a specific trade because Xander was one of the winners of yesterday's shiny Pokemon giveaway for the reverse GTS, which I forgot to do at the end of it because I got so sidetracked I was doing the Magikarp giveaway and that completely, you know, <laughs> slipped my mind for the uh, shinies. But yeah, we're going to do a giveaway there for sure for Xander for that. I think it was a Poliwhirl that you submitted and randomly selected that Poliwhirl from the group of Pokemon I got from you yesterday for a shiny giveaway. Can Gabriel get a shout out? They're wondering. I don't know, Can should I give Gabriel a shout out, guys? Gabriel Gauzer? Oops, I guess I just did. Gabriel, how's it going? We got a Ladywa. And Mystic DTA, you gotta go? Okay, well, thanks for hanging out for the time being, though. And have yourself a Merry Christmas season. Thanks for hanging out. And if you come back later on, feel free to check out what else happened for the live stream. But there'll be more stuff on the channel later on, of course, as well. Alright, we got six more Scyther to go. Could you imagine if I did the full box of each Pokemon? We'd be here forever. So, would anyone else be interested in me doing a Pokemon Conquest stream after this? Just a short little thing. Maybe a half hour, 45 minutes. Just to sort of demonstrate Itchy Nose, first of all. Second of all, I've learned a new thing about how to find better links for my warriors in the game. And I guess I could take on another kingdom see if I can move that forward and then do a couple months off screen just to uh, get some of my guys caught up level wise and such actually something funny in conquest with uh, some of the other warriors that I you know they have downtime and I'm just trying to find links for them one of them had a Charme or sorry Charmander but it was low on energy the uh, they needed some pony gear to, to energize up and I thought all right let's just send them in so her and her Charmander went into e pony Geary and the link increased between the two of them and what's happening to Charmander it evolved to Charmeleon. By eating Pony Geary, Charmander evolved into Charmeleon. That's crazy. But now I know that can happen, actually, which is kind of cool. All right, another Scyther, another Metal Coat going out into the world. And let's see what we get in return. Do you think we're going to get a Shiny in the stream tonight? It happens. Or, as someone said earlier, do you think I'm going to uh, link up with one of the, the Twitch streamers that send out... Uh, their shiny max IV level 100 Pokemon holding super rare items. Legit all the way, right? But it's kind of cool to see them. Whenever I get something like that, I'm going to probably, you know, put it into a box just for giveaways and stuff because I don't need them. 
And Sailor Pika, you're probably going to be too busy doing some Christmas stuff. That's the thing. Because, like, as much as I want to play Conquest, I don't want to interfere with anyone's Christmas stuff. And I'm, I'm sure if you have Christmas things you're going to be doing, don't sit here and watch my stream. You know, do your Christmas stuff. Christmas comes once a year. I'm here, like, almost every day, basically. So, I think, you know what? Hmm. I don't see unknown spike saying that you I should do it because I want to, but then I don't know. I'm thinking I could wait till there's more of us together. Plus, I could do you know some Christmas stuff here at the house maybe. Like I can go see uh, my mother. My mother lives downstairs with all the animals and stuff, so I could go down there and see them again. I was down there earlier, but I might decide. To wait until later. Maybe tomorrow evening, Christmas Eve night, I'll do a uh, conquest. Gabriel's asking, can I wonder trade legendary Pokemon? No. I don't have enough legendary Pokemon to wonder trade them out like that. The ones that I have are basically from the Ultra Warp ride, and I only get one of each of those, so I want to keep them. So sadly, since there is no legitimate way to get multiple legendaries, other than like starting a new file, catching it, sending it into your current file, stuff like that. Yeah, I'm never going to do any legendary wonder trading. But there's plenty of other people out there that do do that. But since most of the people that do that, you know, do do the game altering to make that happen, that's not what I'm personally about. Alright, so we got three more Scyther to send out before the box empties out. What is this? Oh, weird. I thought my phone was blinking a message at me. Nope, it's just the fact that the light sh uh, shined on it a certain way. I thought it was, like, lighting up. Alright, so we have... Is that Oatam from California in the U.S.? Let's see. Do you think we're going to get another trade evolution from someone today, too? Or what if we see the ultimate troll move? A trade of all Pokemon holding an Everstone. What if this Slowpoke has a King's Rock? That could be something. I'll tell you this too, so I'm preparing for Ga or sorry, uh, Rawl to be our next prize Pokemon for the Wi-Fi battles. It's going to be geared toward being a Gallade with the stats that I'm going to try to breed for. I'll tell you this, Dawn Stones are hard to get in Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, and probably regular Sun and Moon. I think you're only guaranteed to get one Dawn Stone or maybe two throughout the entire game, but you can get multiple Dawn Stones when you send Pokemon into one of the caves on, is that Isle of Fun, I think, in Pokepelago. But, I've been sending my guys through like crazy. Almost, you know, takes like five or six attempts before I get one Dawnstone. And it's like, what are you guys doing? Give me more. We have Zach from Ohio in the United States. Is that the Zach that we battled recently? Can't recall. I thought that was Z-A-C-K. I'm not sure, but another uh, Scyther going out regardless, we get Palosand. Very cool. Did you know Shiny Palosand is black, I believe? The Dark Sand, or is that just uh, Sandy Ghast? Oh, this is Palosand's the big one. Sandy Ghast is the little one. I think they're both black sand. But if I'm mistaken, feel free to call me out in the chat and say, Professor, you're a frog. You don't know your Shinies. I fully admit, I do not know every shiny that there is in the games. Daisy's in-game team to watch out for when we do the battling. We've got Salamence, Primarina, Beware, Duskform, Lycanroc, Leafeon, and Alola Ninetales. Do I see any multiple weaknesses there? Um, Actually, three weaknesses to poison? Hmm. It is black. Okay, thank you for letting me know, Daisy. I thought it was. See, I look at teams and I'm thinking, what can I do, like, type-wise? What would be the best against all of it? I do know that uh, if it's a Fluffy Beware, I believe is the ability, they are more defensive, but they're weaker to fire. So I see three potential fire weaknesses. So Poison and Fire. If I could get Salazzle, that would be nice. Of course, Primarina would have a field day against Salazzle. Maybe. Sludge Bomb could do a lot. Actually, wait, no, that's... Is that... That's yeah, three weaknesses to poison, never mind. I was going to say, wait a minute, Primarina's Fairy-type, but I did already factor that in. Alright, so that is the box of Scyther complete. 
We got, first of all, a Rattata at level 3 with the Sassy Nature and the ability Hustle, Tackle and Tail Whip for the moves, Max Speed IVs, cool. So we have an Adamant Nature, level 1 Rockhead Bagon, Rage and Dragon Dance for the moves, very nice stats. Not good speed wise, but it's got the proper nature you want on that too. Special attack down, physical attack up. Cool. We got us a Froki up next. Oh, hidden ability Froki. Protein with the nature timid. We've got pound and growl, level one. Nice stats there as well. Not bad. Not five IVs, but definitely four is good. We now have a synchronized Jolly Abra at level seven with nothing but the old teleport attack going for it. Next up is Alolan Meowth at level 5 with the Relaxed Nature and the ability of Pickup. Scratch and Growl for the move with max HP stat. We now have a Blaze ability, Naive Natured Litten at level 1 with Scratch and Ember. Looks like it's fresh out of the Pokeball with the max defense IVs. So over here we have Slowpoke, our first Slowpoke here. Uh, level 5 with Bold Nature, Oblivious ability. We've got Curse, Yawn, Tackle, and Growl with max attack with the uh, Nature that drops attack stat. Whoops. Next is a Magikarp, level 1, with Relaxed Nature, Swift Swim, It Knows Splash, and that's not bad stat-wise, actually. HP, Attack, and Speed. Defense is going to use a little bit of work, though, but that's what Hyper Training's for. We also got a Lediba at level 3. Early Bird is the ability. We got the Hardy Nature, Tackle for the move, and Max HP IVs. We're getting a lot of Max IVs. Now, level 28, Alolan Meowth, at, uh, at, at, no, with Hasty Nature. Ability is Technician. We've got Fury Swipes, Screech, Faint Attack, and Taunt. Now have the old Gen 3 Bird Pokemon. Of course, there's many. Wingle at level 7. The ability is Na or sorry, Keen Eye. The nature is Modest. We've got Growl, Water Gun, and Supersonic. We have a Caterpie. A Sassy Natured Caterpie at level 12 with Shield Dust for the ability. And Tackle, String Shot, and Bug Bite. Now the last half a row, we get another slow poke at level 7 with the Sassy Nature, Own Tempo Ability. We've got Curse, Yawn, Tackle, and Growl. We have a Sandy Gast at level 1, Sassy Nature. It's a Sassy Sandy Gast with Water Compaction. Harden and Absorb for the moves with Max Defense Stat. And finally, a Young Goose at level 4, a Careful Nature with Stakeout. We've got Tackle, we've got Leer, we've got Basic Stats pretty much all around. Alright, now then, the next to last box, we're going to send out a bunch of our Chansey. These are bred to have max, is it max HP? I believe so. With guaranteed max defense and special defense, if I recall correctly. The speed and the attack are lacking a little bit, but that's not really the most important stuff on this kind of Pokemon. Anyways, so we got the natural cure ability with heal bell counter, helping hand, and seismic toss. Doing one damage at level one. The higher you level that up, the better it does. All right, we have... What's this? Daisy saying, I might be surprised with your Salamence. Hmm. That's what I like about certain Pokemon. You don't know what they might be going for. Something like some species can be more physical offense or special offense. And it's hard to say what it would be sometimes. So is that Jemaya from Pennsylvania in the U.S. is up first for a Chansey. Now, granted, this Chansey would not really be good for a Wonderlock because it's not really, you know, offensive. It can take the hits, especially if you give it Eviolite. But, uh, if you're looking to try to fight your way through the game, I mean, I guess that could do good if you teach it Toxic. Toxic and Soft Boil would be good for a Pokemon like that, of course, because let the Toxic do its thing, whittle your opponents down, just keep healing yourself up. Those defenses are pretty nice. And you've already bred a 6 IV Chansey, but you're going to try to get one of these anyways. Sounds good. Hopefully you can, but I mean, if you've already got a perfect one, you kind of don't need this one anyway. But it's a nice little, I guess... Christmas bonus, perhaps. Make a whole team of Chansey, if you could. And let's see what we get. So the final box after this is going to be a half box of Haunter. I think those ones all have the egg moves. Some might still have the uh, level up moves, but heart scales are attached to them. And we have from Canada... What is that? Krishan Senior? I think that's what the SR stands for. Senior exclamation point. All right, what do we get? What do we get? Somewhere, else, somewhere else in Canada, we find a petalil. Is that the regular colors? I think it is. Some other can't tell. It might look shiny, but I ain't sure. Pretty sure that's a normal one. That's why they don't show a sparkle kind of thing here if it was shiny. Now I'm gonna turn my fan on because it's getting really warm in here. Plus, I still have my hoodie on from when I was out walking earlier. 
But yeah, my buddy Evan came over there, and I was actually showing him Pokemon Conquest, letting him play uh, his own copy from the beginning of it, and not, you know, not saving over mine, of course. But it was like showing him my game that I, I found something that I didn't even know. Like, basically, let us know each of the warriors that you can get in your team on Conquest, it shows you what their specialty is. So, they can link with Pokemon better, I guess, if it's their specialty type. Because I have this one guy who, he has like a max 30% link with his Onyx, and he's already at 29 point something, so he's almost maxed out with his Onyx. But, the idea with Pokemon Conquest, the higher your max link, the stronger that Pokemon can overall become. And I didn't even know this, but I accidentally switched over to the Warrior info page when I was showing my friend. It shows you what that Warrior's specialty is, and this guy's specialty is fighting. So, the entire time, I've been sending him after, like, you know, is he good with his Grass type? Is he good with this Water type? If his specialty is fighting, I'm gonna keep him in the Fighting Kingdom, see if he can find a Fighting type he links up with better. Alright, we're already three Chansey through, look at that, we only got another 12 to go. Let's see what we get back for this one. I like doing these Wonder Trade sessions too because I get to start clearing out the boxes and that leaves me so much empty space to start loading up with more prizes. And once uh, January hits, I'm going to do another poll on our uh, community page on the YouTube channel here asking what should the prize for the next gym be? Because I've already decided Ralts or Galley will be for the fighting gym. The next gym, I guess... Well, Johto's weird. You can fight the gyms in multiple orders. I guess, technically, you can actually fight the Ice-type gym in Mahogany Town as soon as you've beaten Ecritique City, the Ghost-type gym. You can do Ice, uh, the Steel-type gym in Olivine City, or the Fighting Gym in Cyanwood City. You can do those in any order, which is crazy. So let's send another one out. But yeah, I think we'll probably go, geographically wise, we'll say the next gym will be steel type, and I'll probably throw some suggestions in a poll to see what steel type should be the prize for the next one. Uh, Gabriel's saying, has anyone said a rude comment at school? Like, I don't care that you broke your elbow. Well, I'm sure if I... I'd have to sit and think to, you know, remember back, but I'm sure people have said rude things, because, like, not even just at school, but just in general... Some people are jerks, you know, they'll just say something rude. Maybe they don't even mean to say it. I'm sure some do. But, like, all you gotta do is shrug it off and just say... Like, you know, nowadays... I've, I think I was saying this in another live stream, but people these days seem to get offended a lot quicker than when they used to when I was younger, at least from what I remember. But I always keep this mindset that if I hear any one rude thing said to me, that's one opinion. That's one person saying that. And overall, you don't need to let that affect you. Just be like, you know, okay, you're going to be mean like that? I don't want you in my area. I'm not going to pay attention to you. I'm not going to validate what you're saying. If it's like feedback, that's an important thing. It's like, I guess if it's feedback, that's not necessarily rude. If you do something and you're asking people's opinions on, you know, how was that? And if they tell you it wasn't good, they're giving criticism as long as they do it in a proper way. But if it's just being rude for the sake of being rude, then... Yeah, like, just don't pay too much attention to that. Don't let that get you down. Move on with your life. Let them move on with their life. Pass the verge. That's all that really has to happen. And Daisy has also bred a 5 IV Scyther. Excellent. Not bad stuff. I am very happy with what I'm going to be doing for our Ralts. So I have bred a female Ralts. Finally, after much, much breeding with some Ditto to try to max out the stats, I have 5 IV Ralts with, uh, Special attack is the one that's not perfect, but we're breeding for Gallade anyway, so you don't really need special attack. And I have a Mimikyu I got from Wonder Trading with five max IVs and everything except, of course, special attack. So those two are going to be the breeding partners for all the Ralts I'm going to breed up. Pretty good chance they're all going to breed up with everything max except for the uh, special attack stat. And eventually, maybe I'll make my way back around and breed up some Ralts to make them into Gardevoir in a future uh, gym, for example. And Unknown Spike saying to do a live stream for Conquest tomorrow. Yeah, I think that's probably the better idea, because this is this is taking quite a while. We're almost like, we're going to go over two hours based on when we're done this. That's probably good for a Christmas Eve stream, I think. But I'm going to try to record a pre-recorded video for Pokemon White and upload that for tomorrow at some point, just so I can do the announcement of the winners. But I'm going to say, I'm going to respond to the comments tonight and let the winners know who they were for that quiz giveaway. And... 
start working on arrangements for sending out the Pokemon and the uh, TCG online code cards for the first half of the prize pack. So we gotta say Snubble for the Chansey. Does anyone else find it weird that Chansey did not become Fairy type? When Fairy type came in, a bunch of other Pokemon were given Fairy type or changed to Fairy type. But I would think Chansey might have been a contender for Fairy typing. Somewhat more than Snubble. I mean, I know Snubble's Pokedex, I think, calls it the Fairy Pokemon. But I don't know. Maybe Normal still makes sense for it. Either way, it's just a lot of the fairy types seem to be pink. When I see Chansey, I see pink, I think fairy type. And Daisy says, tomorrow is Christmas for you, so what I might do, have a Pokemon White episode, upload, and go live, you know, throughout the day at some point. If I do the live stream tomorrow, which I probably am going to do just to finally get back into doing it, we're getting raided from Kanto Karyu. Welcome, everybody, to our Wonder Trade live stream doing some Christmas Eve wonder trading of some special Pokemon. Maybe to make it more bulky, I see. Daisy's aim for some uh, reading. Welcome, everybody. Yes, welcome, Raiders. We have K. Joan YT. We got Zat MacDulg. And we got Breaks in Gaming. So, what was the stream? We got Dark Side Trainer as well. What was uh, Kanto Care You up to? And there's Kanto Care You right there. Welcome, everybody. Say maybe to make it more bulky says, oh, that maybe that's to uh to change the typing I was talking about. So we still got a little bit of time here for our uh, wonder trading, everybody. Welcome into the stream. We got a lot of folks coming in. <laughs> Everyone's hanging out there in the chat. Sweet stuff. So if you guys are interested in any wonder trading, we're finishing up a box of Chansey that we bred up with uh, max HP, max defensive stats. Pretty decent uh, stats for the rest of them as well. <laughs> Dark Side Trader, I want your hat. <laughs> well, I've got another one that's all old and worn and faded, so I could probably give you that, but no one wants that. I actually got this. You guys can look for this. I think Amazon I got it from. My first... The first hat that I found was actually here in town at a uh, novelty store called Spencer's. And they have a bunch of different kind of cool hats like that. But that one did get old and faded, and I'm looking at it right over there right now. So I had to get a replacement to look more fancy. And yeah, just look on Amazon. I think I got mine off of there. Uh, is my stream over? Is asking Phoenix. Not just yet. We still got a little ways to go. I've got a few more Chansey out of this half a box to send out. And I've got a half box of Gengar, sorry, Haunter into Gengar as our next giveaway for the rest of the stream. So it's six more Chansey. If you guys want some of these, feel free to start Wonder Trading as well. You might get some of these Pokemon. Now, you see on the layout all these other Pokemon that are down there. We've got uh, Infernape, Gliscor, you can see them. I'm going to do another live stream probably on the 27th. I've got another half box of each of these species. These are leftover prizes from our previous Wi-Fi battles on the channel. So if you guys are interested in any of these potential Pokemon, they are bred up with hidden abilities, really good IVs for a lot of the more important stats, and uh, all the Scyther I send out have metal coats. And all the Gliscor, or the Gligar, have the Razor Fangs, which takes forever to find, because you get to snag them from Wild Bruxish. But, if you guys are interested in anything like that, check me out on the 27th, and I'll have a live stream scheduled for that in the evening. Uh, oh, it's KJ1. Okay. Oh, I get you. Now that I see that, I'll be careful with the pronunciation. See, like... Yeah, it just it looks like it's one word. I mean, it could, I could mispronounce it, you know, Kajon. But now that I know KJ1, I'll keep that in mind for sure. All right, we got another chance. Oops, went too far. We got five chancy remaining. And let's see. So Wonder Trade, you got three shinies, level 100 with six perfect IVs. Says Regina. Uh, Regina, hacked of course, but you only use them for shiny hunting. Okay. I've said before too. I've gotten some, you know, some of those max IVs, level 100 shinies as well. And I think a lot of them come from uh, Twitch streams. From what people said, because I've, I've seen the trainer name, and I just I think you know, let's do a quick little Google search. I search up that name, and it's usually something TV, and it takes me over to their Twitch stream, which is kind of cool to see. And Nadina is late because you were downloading some games on the 3DS. Which games were you getting? Out of curiosity, sometimes I open up my game, and uh, suddenly a new Magic demo has appeared for me, which is kind of cool. And Adam bought one at. Game stuff for three dollars. Is that the hat you're talking about? And look at Sailor Pika tossing some hats and lab coats in the chat there as well. 
Awesome stuff. Alright, so we got four more chances left to go. So how is my Christmas Eve? It's not too bad. Actually, all things considered. I went out today to do some Pokemon going. Well, f my first part of the day was uh, my father and I went. He was doing some last-minute Christmas shopping, picking me up a few things for Christmas presents and stuff. So we went out there for the day, hung out for the morning into the afternoon. And I spent the afternoon playing Pokemon Go, trying to get as many gifts out to people as I could. Because I figured, it's Christmas, you know, I want to send gifts out. And the game was saying, you know what? You're only going to get one gift out of every four to five stops that you're going to spin, Professor. And I'm like, alright, I'll get as many as I can anyways. So, and ho 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 to Will as well! Welcome to our stream! Merry Christmas indeed! Hopefully your Christmas Eve is going well. Look at, speaking of Christmas, we got us a Delibird! That's our second Delibird of the night! I wonder if people are doing that intentionally. Oh, it's a friend ball, too. To uh, celebrate Christmas. I should have thought to do something like that. I'm a fool. But yes, Merry Christmas, one and all. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, Happy Holidays, one and all. That should encompass everybody, I would assume. I'm not the kind of person that gets offended. Like, if I, you know, if I didn't celebrate... Well, I shouldn't say I'm not offended if I don't celebrate, because I do celebrate. But... Some people, actually, this is a good point. Some people have gotten upset that people will choose to say Happy Holidays instead of Merry Christmas. Me, I'm like, you know what? It's just encompassing all holidays. It's it's fine. I, you know, say Merry Christmas to me, say Happy Holidays, whatever. It's the sentiment that counts, really. It's they're wishing you a good season. That's the important thing right there. Uh, Phoenix asking, is anybody drinking? Is anybody drunk? No, not me. I can't speak for everybody in the chat. But, nah, I'm not a drinker, actually. Uh, Pokemon first says, the, today's the first day of, is that, uh, Flintlaw. And after Christmas, you're going back to Deer Camp. Okay. And Adam, your city doesn't have holidays. Man, are they allowed to not celebrate holidays? Isn't that illegal? I mean, they're the city. They can make whatever they want legal, I guess. That's how that works, isn't it? But... Yeah, we got uh, holidays here for the time being. I'm actually, I'm taking a 3D animation and modeling course on my, you know, daytime stuff. But we're on two-week vacation off that, too. So I'm going to be doing a little bit more live streaming for the next couple of weeks. Uh, Regina got two Christmas shinies yesterday. Alolan Vulpix and Snow Runt. That is pretty cool. Is that in uh, the 3DS games or is that maybe in one of the Let's Go games? Well, Snow Runt wouldn't be in Let's Go, would it? But Alolan Vulpix could be. And KJ1 saying, Infernape and Gliscor, Scissor and Skarmory, Chanting Gengar is 1. 4 2 1. I'm not sure what that could mean. If that goes way over whoosh, my head and the Charizard hat, as Phoenix says. Yeah, I got the Charizard hat indeed. In fact, just because I can, because it's fun to do. I can actually throw Charizard hats in the chat. Here, everybody take one. There's three for you. That's what we have for some of our custom emojis for our channel members here. And as we saw earlier, lab coats are in there as well. Little running gag, my catchphrase is, although I am a Pokemon professor at my local Pokemon League, I don't get a lab coat. It's on back order. Actually, you can get a lab coat, or at least you could get a lab coat through the Pokemon.com professor program. They're not available right now, and they haven't been available for the longest time. I'd like to get one eventually, but from what I understand, they're not back yet, and I don't think they're going to be coming back. Regina saying, if someone said Happy Hanukkah, you'd focus on the happy. Indeed. Like, if, yeah, if someone wants to wish me their happy holiday that I don't personally celebrate, that's fine. You know, as they're, they're sharing the goodness of whatever holiday it is. That's, that's, that's the import, important point behind the message, you know? They're spreading goodwill. That's all it really has to be. Uh, Adams, you have school Monday through Sunday. Then other people just work throughout the week. Indeed, yeah. People got some busy lives and stuff. Especially, well, some people do get the downtime around the holidays. But, sadly, some people still have to work through it. And that is the nature of the beast, I guess. So, Regina, it was an Ultra Sun. You don't have a Switch, you need to save up for it. You're in the same boat as me. I ain't got a Switch either. Can't quite afford it at this point in time. But I'm eventually going to have to get one in 2019 because I believe they're going to do the next main series Pokemon game on the Switch, they've said. i got to make sure to get that and do a, a playthrough here on the channel for everyone to check out. 
Also, to advance my Pokemon, continued on through the generations, all the way from Gen 3, technically, and keep their adventures happening. So that box is done of our, well, that half box of our Chansey. Our first Pokemon we got was a level 27 Masquerain, Serious Nature with the Intimidate ability. We got Gust, Scary Face, Air Cutter, and Stun Spore. Next, we got a Petalil at level 12. The nature is naughty. This has Pokerus. That's cool. The ability is Chlorophyll. We've got Absorb, Growth, Leech Seed, and Sleep Powder. Next is a Gum Shoes at level 28 with the Brash Nature. Stakeout is the ability Bide, Bite, Mud Slap, and Super Fang. We have an Alolan Rattata at level 1 up next. Calm Nature with Gluttony. Tackle and Tail Whip for the moves. Stats are pretty basic and average right there. Next is a level 2 Grubbin with a Mild Nature. The ability is Swarm. We've got Vice Grip and basic stats fresh out of the wild it seems. Next we got a Ghastly at level 1 from the trainer Punchy. Serious Nature with Levitate. We got Hypnosis. We got Lick. We got kind of average stats around the board on that. So next we got a Snubble at level 16. The nature is mild. We've got the Intimidate. Oh, look at these moves. Ice Fang, Sludge Bomb, Play Rough, and Hidden Power. Are those egg moves? Max Speed IVs. Cool. Now we have a... Ooh, look at this. A False Swipe Smeargle at level 6. Brave Nature with Own Tempo. Can't be confused. Kind of basic stats, but the defense is maximum. Pretty decent. Now we have a Misdreavus at level 20 with a Sassy Nature. It's got Levitate, of course. Confuse Ray, Mean Look, Spite, and Astonish. And not bad on the special defense and speed. And I got another Ghastly. Here we got three Ghastly for these ones. Level 22 with Rash Nature and Levitate ability. Curse, Nightshade, Confuse Ray, and Sucker Punch. Max Physical Attack, which is not the most amazing thing for a Ghastly. But anyways, it's still something. Level 11, Mud Bray is up next. Sassy Nature with Stamina ability. Bulldoze, Mud Slap, Mud Sport, and Rototiller. Max Special Attack. And other stats are pretty decent as well. Alright, we got us a Modest Natured Level 1 Della Bird with Hustle. Present, Freeze Dry, Fake Out, and Destiny Bond. Wow! Someone sent out an amazing Delibird. Check that out. I like that. That's another good breeding partner right there. All right, we now have a Ghastly Level 1 with Timid Nature, Levitate Ability with Hypnosis and Lick, Max Special Attack and Special Defense, a Snorunt up next, Level 45, with Naive Nature, Inner Focus Ability. It's got Headbutt, Frost Breath, Protect Frost Breath Crunch, and last but not least, we got us an Eevee at level 1. Jolly Nature with Adaptability, Helping Hand, Growl, Tackle, and Tail Whip. Alright, all that now being said, I'm moving on to the final half a box we got for tonight. It's going to be full of Gang, well, eventual Gengar, Haunter. They all have the move set here of Parasong, Clear Smog, Haze, and Disable. Not maybe the most competitive moves, but they are all egg moves. And a lot of the competitive moves for a Gengar are TMs or move tutors. And I tried to max out the stats as good as I could. We got max HP, special attack, special defense, speed. A lot of them have uh, max defense as well. So these are kind of decent Haunter into Gengar. If you're looking to get one of these, start your wonder trading right now. Once this box is done, I've got one last thing to do. I'm going to do a trade with one of our viewers who had won a shiny giveaway yesterday. And if they're still here, I'm going to do that trade to end off. Then... We're done for the night, and then everyone can finally go off and enjoy their Christmas. All right, let's get caught up on the chat once again. Lil Lemon, you got a Christmas shiny Xerneas. That's not bad. It also looks like it has Christmas lights on its antlers, doesn't it? That's cool. Pokemon Professor had a Pokemon wedding. You dress like Ash, and the priest dressed like Oak. That is pretty cool. Now, when you got to the altar, did Oak say, Are you a boy or are you a girl? Because that would have been amazing. Throwing that old joke in there. And Nadina, you are not Jewish, but you have a family that are, so one year you got to celebrate Hanukkah. Very cool. I've never celebrated it, but I've heard about the celebration. Not that hearing is experiencing, you know, but hopefully you enjoyed it. And either way, it's a celebration of, you know, family, holiday togetherness, good stuff like that. So we got a snow run for the first Haunter traded out there. Uh, Regina got Xerneas on the 19th. He named him Dancer. That's pretty cool. One of the reindeer. Gabriel got a dark eye. That's why you always say that if a, sh a trainer has TV at the end of their name, they give legendary Pokemon. That is true indeed. And Daisy says, your in-game name is Ayana. So if I see Ayana from California in the U.S., that would be Daisy. Okay. And Regina, you want the Pokemon game, Animal Crossing, and a few that are already out. Yeah, if I was to get any games right now that are available, it'd probably be one of the Let's Go games, even though earlier in the stream I said they're limited in their connectivity with the rest of the games. It's still 
a Pokemon game, you know, it'd still be cool to play it. But priorities would be Smash Brothers Ultimate, because it's Smash Brothers. You gotta get Smash Brothers. And the only other game I would really plan on would be the next Pokemon main series. Unless something else comes along the way that I would want to get. Uh, let's see. So the Dark Ride was shiny, Gabriel. Very cool. Not bad. Uh-oh. Problem. I've got a red light. You can't really see it. Red light on my DS, my 3DS. I gotta plug in. Good thing the plug is right here. So we're not gonna lose our connection. All right, let's see. Pokemon Professor, that would have been awesome. He did say that your journey will soon unfold. That's at least some sort of reference to it. That's very cool indeed. Did he give you a starter Pokemon? Or was the uh, the spouse the starter Pokemon, maybe? That would be kind of interesting. Kind of weird if uh, Ash married his Pikachu. But anyway, that's a whole other story that someone I'm sure has fanfic at some point. We're not going to get into that. The antlers are actually blue when Xerneas is not in active mode, says Regina. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Uh, when is it not active? Because I've only ever seen it in battle with the antlers, you know, white and lit up. Is it just inactive when it's in your Pokeball and not in battle? Because you don't really get to see it inactive in on the battlefield, do you? Not that I can think of. Anyway, I was going to go back to something I was talking about. Fun story about the Nintendo 3DS. I wasn't all that, uh, you know, I'm not that well off that I can just drop money on a new console or something like that. So, when the 3DS first came out, I was like, I'm, I'm going to wait. I don't need to get it. You know, there's nothing that I really need the game for. So, I kind of, like, slipped my mind, and I just bypassed it. But then when they announced that Pokemon X and Pokemon Y were coming out for the 3DS system only, I was like, now i got to get myself a 3DS. I want to get that prepared ahead of time. And I thought, well, I might as well get a game. And I got Animal Crossing New Leaf. It was New Leaf on this, wasn't it, the 3DS? Or was it Wild World? I think Wild World was on the Wii. Whichever the first 3DS one for Animal Crossing was, I got that. And I actually played that a bunch. I eventually stopped, however, because my heart got broke. So, when I first started playing the uh, 3DS Animal Crossing, uh, I had, so when you start the game, there's six animals in the village that you begin in before you take on the role as mayor. Actually, before you get thrust into the role as mayor, because you didn't know you were going to do it. But, one of the animals was a, uh, a frog, one of the gruff characters, who was named Camo Frog. And throughout the many, many months that I played the game, on occasion, Camo Frog would want to leave. So it was a new leaf on the 3DS, says Regina. Thank you. I couldn't remember if it was that or the uh, Wild World. But... You know how an animal will sometimes say, I'm thinking of moving out of town. And you can say, you know, don't go, I need you here. Or you can say, bye, go away. I would say, bye, go away. Because, like, one of the cool things with Animal Crossing connectivity, when an animal moves to another town, they'll tell the new person about their old town. So I thought I had was if I send someone out, and if they find their way back into my town, they can tell me about their other town. It's going to enrich their dialogue. So I would always allow animals to move out. But Camo Frog was different. Every time I told him, you're free to go, he would say, all right, well, I guess. And then later on, if he says, I'm not really sure if I want to leave, I would say, bye. His response would wind up being like, you know, I guess we're not as close to friends as I thought we were. I can't leave things like that. I got to stay here and work on our friendship. So he would choose to stay on his own accord. After he did that like four or five times, I thought, he's my buddy for life. Like he was my last remaining member of the original six animals in my village. And he would not want to leave. So I thought, he's like my best buddy. This is awesome. So at that point, I decided if he ever asked to leave again, I'm going to tell him, don't. You know, you got to stay here with me, man. So one day, I'm walking up to his house, I pop in, let myself in, his box is packed up, and he says, I didn't know how to tell you this, but I'm leaving tonight. And I didn't have a choice to tell him not to. That was when this thing in here... And then he was gone. And I'm like, this doesn't feel fun anymore. I lost my buddy. And after that, just I kind of fell off the game a little bit. I've always been too downtrodden to want to get back to it. I'm sure my town is just loaded with weeds at this point. Anyway, it's been years since I played. But that's my story of Animal Crossing New Leaf on the 3DS. 
But if I ever have another Animal Crossing game like on another system like Switch, I might play that. We'll see. Alright, let's see. So, Pokemon Professor, you had a one-year-old daughter that was dressed like a Pikachu. Awesome. So she dressed like a Pokeball, the wife, because she was pregnant. I see. That kind of makes sense. Nice big old Pokeball. Another starting Pokemon waiting in there. And let's see. Greg got Fire Emblem Shadows Valentina. I've never played a Fire Emblem game, but I hear Pokemon Conquest is similar. And Conquest is one of the games that we're doing live streams on here on the channel. I was going to do one a live stream tonight. I'm not going to overload with Christmas being here right now. I'm going to do it tomorrow evening when we got more time to sit back and relax. So, Oh, Regina just got Shiny Delibird through the Wonder Trade. Excellent stuff! People are just sending out the Christmas Pokemon like crazy. I love that. Pokemon Professor's best man was Brock, the maid of honor was Misty, and the rest had Team Rocket gear. That's kind of cool. Did they do anything like uh, any big attack of you guys at the end of it? I know sometimes when there's a marriage celebration, they have like all the, say, the bridesmaids or the, the groomsmen or whatever, they'll just do something crazy. It'd be cool if Team Rocket did something like that. And Regina, yeah, talk about reverse psychology. I think you're talking about Camo Frog, and it's just like, I know, right? Like, I never want to leave. Cool. Walk into his house. I'm leaving. Thanks. Thanks, game. Love it. Look at this. Mitsuki TV. I think this is what we're talking about. This might be one of our shiny max stat level 100 Pokemon. What do you think we're going to get? I don't know. And... Greg got shiny Hoopa. Very cool. Here we got shiny Deoxys. As I said, you know that's 100% legit though, right? I should use that in all of my battles. To be honest, something like that, I put into a box to do special giveaways myself. Because, like, I'm not going to use that. If it's something that I could obtain in-game, yeah. But that's something that I can give out to uh, on the channel, actually. So let's just take a quick look. It's got the... Why is it holding Lopinite? Anyways, Jolly Nature, Psycho Boost, Taunt, Pursuit, and Spikes, Max IVs, Shiny, Level 100, Oh, it's been hyper-trained. Cool. Alright, let's continue handing out the last of our Haunter. And Sailor Pika, you've never played Animal Crossing. Is that weird? Nope. Some people don't play everything. Some people don't watch everything. It's kind of funny. I might alienate some people out there when I say this, but did you know... Your dear old Professor Chaz has not seen a single Lord of the Rings movie. And I've only seen one Harry Potter movie. Some people get just mind blown when I say that. And it's like, you know, not everybody watches everything. So I know those are movies that a lot of people have seen. But I just haven't seen them. And of all the Harry Potter movies that... Oh, look at this! Haunter for Cadaver. We're getting two trade evolutions right here. Of all the uh, Harry Potter movies that I've seen, the one, it was movie number six. So, you know, a random number to see. I only went to see it really because my friends were going to see it as well. And I thought, you know what? It's a movie. I like popcorn. Let's go. So I was somewhat a little bit lost on who all the characters were. I knew the main three. Well, I should say main four. You got Ron, Harry, and Hermione. And you got uh, Voldemort, of course. No, I know it's Hermione. But I wasn't really aware of who Luna was. And then there was uh, is it Ginny. I want to learn Kinesis. Oh, let's make it forget something. What's it got? No, those are decent. Let's keep those. And yeah, we'll keep what we got. I'll keep them all. I can just, of course, hard scale that back if I need to. But we got an Ala Kazam for a Gengar. Hopefully that Gengar does the, uh, the trade partner good. All right, let's do our next one. Get ready to roll here. We've got six Haunter left for the stream. We're almost done. Regina's trying to get a trade, but so far, no luck, unfortunately. It might happen. Remember, though, if you don't get anything from me here tonight, stay tuned to the channel. I'll have another event scheduled for the 27th. I've got another half a box of each of the species you see down below. Technically, it'll just be a Chimchar and a Gligar, but, of course, you can evolve the Chimchar up and... Gligar is going to have the Razor Fang attached so you can evolve into Gliscor by level up. But everything else you see on the layout, you'll be getting through the trading. Alright, let's see. Gabriel's saying, trade that, it's Christmas. You know what? Should I wonder trade that Deoxys back out, do you think, guys? I don't know. 
We got a Tortuga. Very cool. And Nadina, you have not played Animal Crossing either. And you don't like either of those series of movies. Hey, that's all right. Everyone's got different tastes and such. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's get this next one ready to go. I'll say one of the movies, or sorry, one of the uh, series that I've seen a lot of, though, would be the Marvel movies, because I do like the superhero stuff, the action, the sci-fi. Admittedly, I don't like DC as much as Marvel. I don't really have anything against DC. Like, if it's if it's there, I'll watch it. But I really like the Marvel movies. I just feel... Oh, it sounds weird, but I feel that the Marvel movies are a lot more relatable. You know, we're talking about characters who this guy gets mad and turns into this big green hulking beast. And a man who has built an iron suit that can fly around the world and blast aliens with laser beams. But... Just the, the personalities of the characters I feel are more relatable and more in tune with how I would react to things. I look at the DC characters, I find that they're too serious, you know? Like, there's not a lot of levity. A character like The Flash, though, he adds a lot more humanity to it, but a lot of them act too robotic, too inhuman, I think. But that's just, you know, one person's opinion. Like I said, no one needs to be offended or anything. Because if my opinion does not mesh with yours, just write me off as wrong if you want to. And your opinion is what you want and how you like to do things. Uh, let's see. And Pokemon Professor saying, How have I not watched all the Harry Potter movies? I just haven't sat down to do it. I'm not opposed to doing it. But I also had a crazy thought. If I ever was going to watch the entire series, I'd want to go in a somewhat Star Wars type thing and go in reverse. And start at the last one and go back to see how do things unfold, or I guess refold, as time goes on. And Daisy's only seen one Harry movie, Harry Potter movie as well, the last one. Regina has tried Zelda once, but you found it frustrated you too much. Never tried it again. Is that, you mean, the regular Zelda game, or Breath of the Wild, perhaps? And Ginny is Harry's girlfriend. I, I kind of figured that one out once I saw that they were all together. Because, like, as a completely uninitiated... Uh, you know, non-Harry Potter fan. My first instinct was always that it was like Harry and Hermione were supposed to be the couple, because like main male character, main female character, Ron being the Weasley little guy he is. But I, it was kind of surprising that Harry and Hermione, the main female character, were not supposed to be the ones that were together. And Sailor Piggy says, I should check them out sometime. As I said, I'm not opposed to doing it, just haven't really, I don't have access to the, the movies, but... If someone had the movies and they wanted me to sit down and watch it, I'd say, sure, I'll give it a shot. As long as there's plenty of popcorn to uh, see me through. And Nadina's, Nadina, Nadina is more into anime and comics. And as an older woman, that shocks people. And it shouldn't have to shock people. Everyone's got different tastes, different opinions, different likes and such. You know, um... What am I into? Well, I'm an older person and I'm into Pokemon. You know, not everyone might think that makes sense, but to each their own. As long as what you like doesn't cause any harm to anybody else, then it doesn't matter what people think. Just do what you do, do what you like to do. And I've, I've always said, if people focused more on liking the things that they like, as opposed to shaming people for not liking what these people don't like, the world would be a better place, you know? You wouldn't be hurting people, bringing them down. You'd just be liking what you like, leaving people to do their own business, what they like. And, I don't know, there's some people that I think just have the thought that if someone likes something that I think is dumb, I gotta call them out on it. And why? Just let them do what they do. That's what I think, anyway. Uh, Regina almost always prefers the books over the movies. And I've heard that. People say often the books are better than the movies. Maybe because the book allows your own imagination to fill in, like, the scenery and fill in more stuff that makes it more personal to you. Because, like, you know... Your vision of a scene as it's depicted is probably vastly different than my vision or someone else's vision. And it makes it more personal that way, as opposed to a movie where everything is just laid out flat for you and that is what everyone sees. You all have the same experience with it. You might sort of personally relate to things differently, but you're not going to see, you know, I see a tower as this big, black, ominous tower in the distance. You see it as a light shining on it as a symbol of hope or something. No, you're going to see the same tower as everybody else. Just as an example. Our last wonder trade of the stream. Our last Haunter being out right now. Let's see what we get, and then we'll recap all of these Pokemon. And the finale is going to be, if Xander is still in here, i got to do a trade. Uh, let's see what else is going on here. 
Nadina says, The Wonder Woman movie was good, and you like most of the DC series. But yeah, the Marvel movies are better, as you say. So we agree on that, at least. I didn't see the Wonder Woman movie, but I did hear amazing things about it. And I will say, I had a number of issues with Batman vs. Superman. One issue I did not have was the fact that Wonder Woman was awesome in that. She, I don't know. I had no complaints about how Wonder Woman was acted, portrayed, and handled in that movie. It was really cool. It's kind of cool to have someone like that happen, where she did not have an origin movie at first. She's just thrown into it, and she did great. She was amazing. Uh, let's see here. So, finally, that's the end. We're going to check out what we got in return. I'm going to check out the chat first of all, though. A Korean Volibi, Regina says. Cool. Was that one that I got? I don't think it was. No, you must have got it. Uh, and it was Spirit Tracks you were talking about. Oh, the uh, Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks. People have said a lot of good things about Breath of the Wild, and I've played a little bit of it. So if you get a chance to try that on the Switch, that might be an interesting Zelda game for you. It's open world. You can basically do what you want. There is a story to it, from what I'm told, but you get to do it at your own pace, basically. Uh, let's see. Regina br uh, bred a whole box of rock roof with the own tempo ability, but you can't trade them at all. Yeah, because that is an Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon exclusive, and they can't be sent out Wonder Trade. I think you could trade with someone that has Ultra Sun or Ultra Moon if you do a direct link trade, but since it's something that's new to Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, and technically a rock roof with own tempo should evolve into the... What is it? Dawn form Lycanroc? That doesn't exist in regular Sun and Moon, so they cannot be Wonder Traded out. Uh, let's see. Uh, is Xander still... Yes, Xander is still here. Awesome. So once we're done this, I'm going to set up a trade with you. i got to add your friend code in, Xander, and then we'll do a direct trade. Okay, so let's just do a quick recap here. we got a Timid, Moody, Level 1 Snow Runt with Powder Snow and Leer. That's nice stats. Not bad. No complaints there. We have a uh, Beldum up next at Level 1. Jolly Nature with Clear Body. Take down. I was going to say, they probably got some good stats on that there because it's uh, Jolly Nature. That's pretty decent. We now have a level 13 Jenks, Bashful Nature with Oblivious Ability with Pound, Lick, Lovely Kiss, and Powder Snow. Also got a Gibble at level 1, Quirky Nature with Sand Veil. We got Tackle, Sand Tomb, and Outrage. Decent on a couple of them stats. And Execute up next at level 40 with the Quirky Nature Ability is Chlorophyll. We have Sleep Powder, Confusion, Worry Seed, and Natural Gift. And a Mimikyu. I've got a lot of 5 IV Mimikyu from Wonder Trade. Level 1 with Adamant Nature, Disguise ability, of course. Copycat, Destiny Bond, Curse, and Nightmare. Next, we have a nice Togedemaru, level 1. Jolly Nature as well with Sturdy. It's got Encore, Fake Out, Reversal, and Wish. Pretty cool stats on that. Not bad at all. Now, here's our Shiny Deoxys. We've already seen Max IVs. It's got the Jolly Nature, Pressure ability, Psycho Boost, Taunt, Pursuit, and Spikes. So we've got an Alakazam, we got traded and evolved up through. It's also got Pokerus, that's cool. Level 31, Hardy Nature with Inner Focus, Reflect, Recover, Psybeam, and Miracle Eye. Here's our little Tortuga. What's it called? Galapaflos from Germany, or Galapafloss. Level 1 Tortuga with Impish Nature, the ability is Solid Rock. We've got Bide, Withdraw, and Water Gun. We have an Alolan Rattata at level 14. Uh, Hardy Nature with Gluttony ability, Quick Attack, Focus Energy, Bite, and Pursuit. And we have a Watwat, or Watawat, or whatever, however you pronounce it, from France. Level 1 Mareep with Adamant Nature, Static Ability. We got Tackle and Growl with Max, Physical Attack Stat. So, final line, we got Vulpix at level 1, Naive Nature with Snow Cloak. Powder Snow is the only attack. We've got Max Attack Stat, cool stuff. We have an Abra at level 1, Modest Nature with Magic Guard. Teleport for the move, and that's pretty good. 5 IVs. I love getting 5 IV Pokemon for breeding purposes. Finally, we got a Grimer at level 7. A timid little Grimer with Poison Touch, Pound, Poison Gas, Harden, and Bide. And the stats are right there. Alright, so let's back out of here. I'm going to disconnect for a moment. I'm going to come back in and Xander is looking for a trade for winning a special giveaway from yesterday. It is a special shiny Pokemon that I happened to pick up while I was doing a bunch of farming for Metal Coats and Razor Fangs. Let me back out to my friends list here, and I've got your code copied over. Yes, I do. Just bear with me for a moment here, folks. We're almost done for the stream. If you didn't get one of our Pokemon for the night, as I say, stay tuned to the channel, because we're going to be doing some more Wonder Trading on the 27th. We've got another half a box of each of our species. 
So another chance to get some of these Pokemon, but it also gives me time to get more of them Razor Fangs, which take forever to get from those wild Bruxish. Okay, so I am now connected with James, or in the chat, Xander. So let's go back. Now, if you recall, there were two shiny Pokemon that I picked up. One was, of course, the Magnemite for hunting metal coats. One was a shiny Bruxish that I got for looking for all those Razor Fangs. Which Pokemon is Xander going to be picking up? I'll show you that in just a moment once I connect back to the internet and set up a trade. Uh, let's see if I'm missing it on the track. Oh, I pronounced it decent. Okay. Says the German Pokedino. Or is that Pokedino? See, that I don't know how to pronounce. Uh, that is... That's not you. Is that you, Xander? I don't think it is. Hang on. Uh, Link Trade. Let's see if you are online. I'll give you a few moments to make sure that you're connected here, too. Alexander, was that... Yeah, that's you, right? Okay, yeah. Yes, Alexander in-game, but Xander in uh, the chat. So you got yourself a shiny Pokemon going your way. Once we get connected. So, yeah, that's the question. Was your name drawn for the Magnemite or the Bruxish? Well, I know who it was, but you'll see in just a moment. And whatever you want to trade over, totally fine. It's all up to you. So which box are they sitting in? Right over here. So these are all the other Pokemon I got from the Reverse GTS yesterday. Here is the Shiny Magnemite, which was given to us by Marcus, who I'm not sure is in the chat today. But this Pokemon here, the Poliwhirl, with the odd incense, you're getting a Shiny Bruxish. Your name was drawn for that one, which, not to downplay the uh, Magnemite, but this one actually turned out to be really good. Adamant Nature, it's got really good abilities, or sorry, good IVs, and it's Shiny. And boom. That is your shiny for participating in the Reverse GTS yesterday. We'll be doing more of those in the future on the channel, of course. More of them for the members, as I do uh, one member GTS stream every month. But every six months, at the end of the Wi-Fi battle season, I'll be doing another one of these Reverse GTSs for all the species that we've had throughout the uh, six months or so. And you are welcome. There we go. Gonna quit the trading. We're good. And that's going to be a wrap for our live stream tonight there, folks. So I'm going to say thank you to everybody for hanging out for the evening. I'm just going to disconnect off the internet. If you guys want to check out the channel for some more content, you're welcome to do so. we got a lot of Pokemon stuff here on the channel. We do Pokemon TCG online. I'm a bit behind the schedule with that, but we'll do some more of that coming up into the new year. We've got Pokemon Conquest live streams on the regular. we got Pokemon White, which is winding down. Soon getting into Pokemon X on the channel. And, of course, Pokemon Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, Wi-Fi battles, and other things like Wonder Trades and stuff like that. So feel free to subscribe if you're new here and you're interested in checking out some more content on the channel. And for anyone that wants to join as a member, you can get some members-exclusive perks for helping to support the channel and helping me out as well. You get a guaranteed Pokemon TCG Online code card every month if you're a member, which kind of offsets the price of the membership. You can also get access to those reverse GTSs, which we do for the uh, members on a regular basis. And you get uh, Pokemon Go gifts pretty much guaranteed every day once I get out and about. Members are given the gifts first and foremost, and others are, you know, given out down the line as well. So, thank you everyone for hanging out once again. Now we can all sign off. Go enjoy your Christmas season, everybody. Enjoy. Enjoy your eggnog if that's what you have. Enjoy getting your presents. Enjoy the family togetherness. If you're having turkey, enjoy your uh, turkey dinner. I'm having some of that tomorrow, which is going to be cool. So, the next thing I'm planning is I'm going to try to get a Pokemon White recorded tonight and get it uploaded tomorrow throughout the day. Check it out at your convenience. Tomorrow evening, I'll do a Pokemon Conquest live stream and get back into that and showcase some of the new knowledge I've picked up along the way off screen. But, nothing more needs to be said. We are now done. I'm going to go enjoy a nice, relaxing evening. Sit back, wait for the, uh, the big man to come in and drop presents all over the city. Have yourselves a good evening, everybody. Thanks again for hanging out. Professor Chaz is signing off, or am I? Where is my button? There it is. Professor Chaz is now signing off. Have yourselves a good evening. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Enjoy the season, and I'll catch you next time. Jingle bells. Ho, ho, ho. Follow la la. Later. <laughs>